are Ooh, and they're loud too we are live all right yeah it is thursday night you see the countdown it's like the new year vic 10 9 8 <laughs> yes thanks for tuning in guys by the way and we are here live at the reserve he is back folks the victory cigar is back after uh tuesday with the Another sputter of health issues. Yeah, just uh, a cold that won't go away. You can hear it in my voice right now, but I am on the mend. Um, a shout out to my wife because she's okay. at home and she is, uh, she's is she got it as well and pretty bad. So anyway. Um, we have the medicine for him, folks. We yes. Have MGM Bob. <laughs> we have Shimmy making a return. We got the Buddha. We got the Colonel. There's a lot of familiar faces. This is actually... All familiar faces on here. A couple players have only played on here a few times, but we've seen them in the last two months, Vic. Yes. They kind of made their debuts. They're back. Levine's also here, I see, in seat three. So this should be a high-action game. Levine came up to me, who's one of the most action players that we've had on Thursday nights, and he goes, Dom, I don't know if you looked at the lineup yet, but I'm actually not the most action player at the table tonight. <laughs> so when I heard that, I was like, here we go. It's going to be another crazy Thursday night, no nit. Looking forward to it. Well, it, it exactly. I mean, this is the Thursday night, but it sure looks like a Tuesday night lineup to me. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of great action here tonight. We want to thank everybody for joining us, as always. And when you come on, please hit that like button. We greatly appreciate it. Let's get into the action here, starting off with a bomb pot. Seven, eight, ace, couple of hearts. And Vic? The thing that I love about the single board is no chopping most of the time. Correct. Yeah. MGM Bob now with two pair. Yeah, and Shimmy hitting the nut flush draw with top pair. Oh, there's those two hearts. Yeah, yeah there look, they are. Looking for a three or a heart. And now the pot's up to 190. And now the five. Anyone with a straight? No. No, that doesn't get anybody there. The strongest hand is still i believe the two pair seven eight Pro probably a surprise from everyone at the table down to three players here in this bomb pot on on to shimmy now with the flush draw and he's going to bet 75. he's not scared Okay. So now we're just heads, heads up. up. Yep. And the eight pairs it. Imad. With the ace king. He's going to lead out. That's the best hand, but he's going to pretty much try to make it look like a boat in case the straight is there. Quick fold there from... Uh, from Shimmy, <coughs> first hand of the night. So they are still using the uh, no knit chip on Thursday nights, and one of the wrinkles of that is that if a player reminds another player to show their card so they can get rid of their yellow no knit chip, then that player absorbs that chip. So Colonel, right out of the gate now, this first go round of the yellow no knit chip, he's got two in front of him. Do you want to show again? Just tell someone else to show. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't really care. We are the reserve here in Toledo, Ohio. Thank you very much tonight for joining us. This is a five-hour live stream. No good deed goes on. Look at Colonel double dipping right there. Yeah. Two of the buttons. After the first hand, it didn't even take long. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Message board already underway. Looks like we've got Conan, Todd in the house. Todd always getting the first like. Always appreciate you, Todd. Neil Brinkman. Hey, Neil. Thanks for inviting me Tuesday night uh, to s sip on some brown water and comment with you, but I was just absolutely out of it. I am much more on the men now, and I appreciate your well wishes. Thank you very much. This too shall pass. Nothing like uh, some poker action here, cash game to get me back, get my juices going again here, the right juices. Okay. 
So Buddha's going to raise this out with 7-5 of spades. And he's getting some action here. Five-handed. Three of these players with spades. Three of these players with an ace. Couple of nines with clubs. Ahmad with the ace high flush draw. And then three of a kind for Derek. Yowzers, action. Fifty is the bet now, just down to Imad. Imad just took that first pot down, which was a bomb pot, single board. I asked everybody to, for shout outs, and Imad said, with a big smile on his face, everyone. <laughs> shout out to everyone. Yeah, and we've watched him on our live stream during the big tournaments, and there's a blank. Well, not really a blank. Not really a blank. A straight draw along with his flush draw. A few more outs. But you will see, he will use the same mannerisms and the same cadence. We talked about that when yes. we saw him in our tournament series just a couple months ago when he yeah. was on here. He's very consistent. And he lets it go. I'll have to admit, the very first time that I dealt to him uh, in the tournament, um, it was the first time I believe he had been in the room, or at least the first time I had dealt to him. And I thought maybe he was a little distracted. Um, and then I got to watch his cadence, and you're absolutely right. He seems to have the clock in his head set for the same amount of time each time, whether he's got a strong hand, weak hand, whether he's going to be raising, whether he's going to be folding. And we made that comment when we had him on the uh, tournament live stream here. And there we are in the main room for tonight's uh, Thursday night, and it is a satellite, a satellite for the 250K that's coming up here at the end of April. Yeah, a tournament that you can see the Domo lock of the week. I think we're going to at least hit 350K in there, and I don't like to put locks out there loosely. Now, this has right. nothing to do with the official reserve lock. What we're locking is 250K. Yeah. This is just my opinion, folks. Yeah. I think we could very easily possibly hit 400K, but 350, lock of the day. I'm telling you right now. 25 to go from Shimmy with the mystery hand. Back on the live stream, rocking his Lions gear. Colonel with Ace Jack suited in spades is going to be the Huckleberry, and we're going to go heads up action now. And we have ooh, Colonel flopping a monster top pair with the nut flush draw. Shimmy checks. And a quick fold there from Shimmy. Now the Colonel is going to take a hand and he's going to show so that he can get rid of at least one of those yellow no, no knit chips. He wound up with two because he uh, made the. Uh, Faux pas of uh, reminding Imad to show his hand, and them's the rules. But he took that down, and um, Maybe I still feel young. <laughs> the Colonel, did not, the Colonel did not have a shout out tonight. No. However, we have to do a shout out to Colonel for yesterday in a seniors tournament at the okay. Jack. Wound up taking first place. Oh. Yep. Championship, fifty-five and uh, or fifty and older, fifty and older tournament that he played in. Buddha now pocket threes, and we've got a uh, straddle on a restraddle on. This is a one-three no limit hold'em cash game, five hundred dollar buy-in. That's the biggest bluff in the world, though, folks. That is in the rules. That is the official saying Vic is speaking the truth. But we say it's 1-3, but this plays just oh, like a 2-5. Yes, absolutely. And particularly with this uh, with this lineup here tonight, this is what we might consider more like a Tuesday lineup. Some oh. very strong players and some players that, if need be, will run deep. 
And now Derek looking down at ace, queen, suited, and diamonds. Beautiful. On what a, a great time total. to pick up those two cards on a yeah. restraddle, and here comes... Punish him. Yep, punish him, punish him. Buddha coming along with a pair. Hopefully that he's thinking, please let this isolate it. $100 raise here. The bet is now 120 Xavier, X-Man. Could be an X man. And heads up, Buddha got what he wanted here. Heads up action. Wow. Three forty three in the middle. Oh, oh boy. Look at that. Mm. Gut shot the Broadway with two overs and then bottom set for Buddha. He checks. Buddha checks back. Rainbow board, I don't blame him. Now a full house. Setting the trap. Seventy five. Smooth call. Not the card that Buddha wanted to see to try to get some action, and I think he knows it. He's going to push all in, but nothing really for uh, Derek to call here with. Very good starting hand. But as we all know in Hold'em, got to get something on that board of five to go with the two cards in front of you. The classic song does not bluff. you got to know when to hold them, yep. know when to fold them. No win the walk away. Shows the no threes, and that's a nice pot there. A profit of $528 for Buddha. After a bunch of... Uh, bunch of uh, limpers on that restraddle. Buddha using the power, channeling it. If I had to call 275 with pocket deuces on Tuesday... Lumpy, thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate that very much. I am definitely on the mend. One of those situations where I sound uh, worse than I feel, which is a good thing. And this too shall pass. Our next live stream Saturday night is the regular Joe Poker Show, and that is a 1-3 No Limit Hold'em cash game. Buy-in of, fi of 500 and trying to think, it looked like there was still some room on that board. Really? For, uh, well, I, I was up there when Moose, and we saw Moose in the screen playing in the main room tonight. And I wasn't sure if he was talking about playing this Saturday or next Saturday. I didn't want to hear anything about it. I wanted to talk about fishing with Moose. The walleye are in pretty thick right now in the Maumee River. Ammo coming along with Jack Nine on the button. Twenty-five is really just a little spritzer in this type of game. You'll see later in the live stream. I won't be surprised if you got to average at least sixty to see a flop. That's the way it tends to go. The trends. Corey, sensing weakness, raising on the button with the queen three of spades takes it down a win is a win he gets to show his cards and get rid of that yellow no knit chip you're the last person standing with the yellow no knit chip on thursday nights and you uh, donate five dollars per player i don't know what they decided on dom the last couple times they've decided that that money is going into the uh, dealer's tip box i'm sure it's probably going that way too probably going that way when we've had uh, things like Toys for Tots or other charities, they'll also utilize that with the Yellow No Knit Chip. This is just a great group of guys that uh, play core of them on uh, Thursday nights. We see new players from time to time or players that uh, come back to us. And Colonel. that's the case tonight. Now Colonel with pocket fours with the str uh, straddle to 10, and he's going to raise to 20. X-Man, Ace-9 suited. You remember, Vic, I always have trouble. I always want to say X-Men. Uh, X-Man. Going around the table now. Not too much to see here. 
Ammo does have a wide range. You might want to protect his button. Well, I'm going to let Nick know that you said he did a good job. I know he he loves being in here. He'll, he'll enjoys it. He Saturday. enjoys almost anything to do with the game of poker. Yeah, I thought he did an excellent job too. And he'll be back here Saturday with Vic. Yes. Actually, so we're going to get some tarantula Nick. I got a little family ties on Saturday. TV now we're heads up. <coughs> and heads up action, fours versus ace nine suited and fours. Hold as of right now, seven, queen, deuce, rainbow flop for the colonel. Here's the beauty of the three bet for the X-Man here. If he does a continuation bet here, he's more than likely going to get the colonel to uh, fold those fours. And, of course, it depends on how much. This time he puts out 35. No, 40, excuse me. And sure enough, just aggression. And he shows, gets rid of his yellow no niche chip, and takes down a pot. X, X man and Levine sitting next to each other. That reminds me of having Concrete Dave and Caleb sit next to each other on Tuesday. <laughs> Just two action players side by side. Look for seat three and seat four to mix it up multiple times tonight, folks. If you're new to this live stream, they are not shy, and they will play their 5-3 suited like it's king-queen suited. And X-Man is doing a shout-out to his mom. So if you are Xavier's mom here tonight watching, let us know. We'll do another shout-out here. It's early in the game. We're going five hours till 11.15 here tonight. 1-3, no limit hold'em cash game, and just as you said, Levine with that range. That's hard to pin him to, and he's going to raise it up to 45. And there's Chris Christine saying, ex-mom is watching. <laughs> awesome. Love it. Chris Christine, welcome to the live stream. Love when moms and families and friends... Support whoever they're watching on here. Give them a shout out on the message board. We'll relay the message, especially when they rewatch us. They can hear it. Are they talking workout regiments now? <clears throat> Imad came along. So did Derek Buddha got out of the way. The Colonel now with King Queen offsuit. And he calls, as does MGM Bob, this time with the fours. Yeah, this is the juicy flop. Five players. Two, 28 in the middle. And we look at that. Bottom, oh, boy. Bottom set. Again, hitting four right, in the, right on there. We've got a 9-4-5 rainbow board. But right now, really, no one else has got a piece. Yep. Levine with a continuation bet, wanting to uh, keep up appearances here. Like I said, he is a high action player. No shock there, Vic. I'm Jim licking his chops right now inside. He makes the call. 408 in the middle. And a deuce. And now just a gut shot here for Levine. That's actually not the worst card in the deck for him. Gave him some outs. And an all in. Buddha again helping us with our job. Quick call from MGM. And the river. Ooh, oh, close. Boy. Full house for MGM Bob. Levine with a little aggression right there. Gets the best of them. I can't believe it. Else was 
was it? What was he thinking about? <laughs> MGM Bob taking that pot down, and he's uh, another shout out to Beth. And MGM Bob also a shout out to Buddha's wife. MGM Bob getting it from Levine. <laughs> Say, why you slow roll the nuts there? And yeah. Buddha pouring gasoline on the fire. Like, yeah, Bob, why'd you do that? I think he wanted to think about it. The straight was there. Took him a second. Yeah, we've got a dance studio next door, and um, right around 7.30, somewhere around there, they uh, send the kids home to do their homework, and the uh, dance studio is done for the night. And um, so we get to hear... Uh, some of their music right through the walls. So that's what you're picking up in there. These players who have played on Thursday night long enough, they're pretty much used to it. Looks like Fast Eddie's coming in the deal. Well, now that we cleared that up, on to the next hand. Yes. <laughs> on to the next great. hand, and where we've it. got a straddle and a restraddle. Oh, I don't care. I'll do a three They're chirping back. at the table. Guy, it's early. Honest to God, yeah, he was I thinking about folding there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get his camera time. Yeah, yeah, camera time. Imad now with Speak of the Moose. Suited, 8-5. And we got raise up to 20 with 10-9. Three bet up to 55 with the suited moose. Now shimmy with ace jack. Looks like he's reaching for ammunition. Are we going to see a four bet here? Yeah. Shimmy with the best hand right now. Four bet still up to 155. And in that time, we had a dealer change. Eddie coming in now. A couple of folds. Look like we got heads up action at the table now. Ace right on the flop. Looks like Ace deuce five. Both players get a piece. Continuation bet here from Shimmy well, with if the he, welcome mat out. If he calls this, pretty much Shimmy's all in on the turn no matter what. He's priced in with only 121 back. Yeah, 464 in there. He's going nowhere. Now Shimmy picking up a flush draw. And there it is. 121. And he takes it out. Nice hand. I said, uh, Shimmy, you want to do a shout out? And he says, uh, No, nobody ever watches me. But we know that's not true. I believe we got Dr. Boring in the house. I thought Dr. Boring was actually playing today. I misread it. I wore the the Boring shirt, and he just leaves me hanging. But that's that's good. You made it on the live stream chat, Dr. Boring. Is that the what? What was the shirt that Neil was talking about earlier? I don't. I don't understand what was he that, was going on about. Was that the one that I was wearing? Like I said, I got. I I wore my boring shirt, thinking I was seeing Doctor Boring. He says, "Do you feel dirty in that boring shirt?" Oh, then that was the Bennett. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was an interesting exchange. Yeah. The question was, are you working out? 
And Jimmy says, well, I'm eating a lot. <laughs> Fair enough. 45 to go. And like I said, these players will not wait for aces and queens. We got 7 5 and 6 5 in there, 10 4 offsuit in there. This is a classic hand anytime the X Man and Levine are in the pot. And that's why I love when these players come on, they're fun to watch. And we got a king, five, four board. Everybody gets a piece of this. Yeah. Levine, surprisingly, with the best of it. And Levine makes the call. Well, we got a pot brewing here, Dom. That's what happens three, when uh, three, all players get a piece of the flop. 379 in the middle. <coughs> <laughs> Look at these hands. Look at these hands. This is I, known at Thursday, folks. <laughs> yep. Queen of spades on the turn. Nothing for nobody. No help. Levine's still at best. And now two pair on the river. The initial razor. Oh, no. Is Levine going to just bet into it twice now? No, he checked it. Oh, okay. When I saw those chips. X-Band's going to bet into it. Going to try to represent the flush here. Aggressive. <laughs> Vika didn't Vic. Not quite. Didn't quite get that bad, folks. The mod takes it down. Nice hand. Two pair on the river, raising it up with six five. A little bit of run good there. <laughs> oh, the lion shirt. All right. Now that everybody's on the same page, why don't we find another subject? What, what was the subject? I, uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's uh, they were talking about the lion shirt. Oh, the St. Brown jersey? <laughs> Folks, we can't bring up NFL still. It's too soon for my partner. Okay? <laughs> it's too soon. we got to wait till at least after the draft. He's in no mood. And that's coming up. That's right around the corner. Yeah. In Detroit? In Detroit, no you, less. you got to be there, right? You're the number one pick. It's the Bears. <laughs> yeah. We talked about it. <laughs> when I say we, Caroline and I. I could see you with a fat stogie celebration cigar. Derek with the 10 deuce suited. The Doyle. Buddha, no. And Colonel now waking up with ace, queen suited, and clubs. On the button, get after it, Colonel. <laughs> 65 to go. Peach in the house. X-Man now. 55 to call with pocket threes. He's going to make the call. The mod just got a whole bunch of new chips, and he's going to put some of them out there. With the 6-4 of spades. Oh, we've already seen two sets already. And Might Corey nice. coming along, so four-handed. 264. Just keep pinching me and remind me this is a 1-3 game. And look at that flop. Jack, deuce, ace, couple of hearts. Colonel all alone on that one. Hits it pretty well. 
And if you just joined us, Colonel uh, taking down a, a seniors event yesterday in Cleveland. Coming off a pretty big win. Twenty-five from the colonel. I think this will most likely go through unless someone's getting really froggy. We've seen some plays already so far, Vic. <coughs> Nolan R on the message board. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're doing well. No Nolan in the poker community. And a full colonel takes that one down. He's going to profit one dollar short of two hundred. And he gets rid of his second yellow no niche chip. And if you weren't here in the very beginning for the uh, bomb pot. The colonel did the uh, faux pas of uh, reminding Imad that he had to show his hand. That means if you do that, his chip goes to you. But colonel survived this round with two chips, taking down his second hand here of the night so far. So he's off to a pretty good start. MGM Bob off to a pretty good start. Buddha off to a pretty good start. Oh, you have, yeah. <coughs> Shimmy, the pocket six is coming along. $25. Clubs, clubs seem to be a thing now. Derek with A7 and Buddha King 9 of clubs needs 25 to call here. And he's going to raise it up. Make it 75. Colonel in the cutoff. Queen Jack lets it go. Dean with the four deuce. Ace Jack now. Whoa, we could see a big hand alert, folks, here. Once again, this is a $500 max buying game. And Vic, it seems like every pot pre flop is between two and $300 before we even see any cards. Yeah, half a starting stack. Speaking of which, 311 in this pot. Good bit, good 90s band, 311. <coughs> and a couple of 10s at the king. Buddha flopping the best of it. And I think Imad had folded queen, queen 10, if I recall. But Buddha does get the best of this. It's always interesting to watch when you fold the trips and you see what the other players will do. Buddha bets out. 250. Back over to Shimmy now. No yellow, no nit chip in front of him, so he doesn't have to show, but he does show. Shows the king nine. Definitely had the best hand and yes nobody had a 10 because uh, the one 10 that I saw for Imad was folded. Yeah, I think Buddha shows 90% of his hands anyway. Yeah. It almost makes you wonder when he doesn't show. Like well what did you have? Message board. <laughs> Internet always wins. Now three players involved. Tw 
125 from Levine getting after it. Yes, he is. On the comeback tour. This has got to be the comeback tour t for him because he uh, lost a big hand to MGM Bob who had a set of fours. And Ammo's going to hook him up here with a 7-6. He is live. So heads up. 284 in the middle. And we got a 10-3-4 board. Ammo with a gut shot. Levine still ahead with just queen high. Now the queen for Levine. Checks at a free card. Shows two pair. And the seven high was also showed from ammo. Maybe yeah. telling everyone, hey, I'm willing to play. I'm willing to play. Anything. That's right. If you haven't played with, him, with me yet, this is how what I like to do. We got Donald Hood in the house. It says hashtag Team Shimmy Hood. Happy to hear from you, my friend. Had a little scare from you uh, earlier this week, and I'm glad to hear uh, good news, buddy. Had me a little worried, not going to lie. But yeah, it's great to see you on here, Hood, and on the way up, on the up and up, I, from what I've heard. You just got to be ready for when it comes your way. I'm ready. You think it ain't happened to me? Uh, it was happening to me when you were shitting yellow. Probably. It was probably happening right. to you before I was born. Yeah, before you were born, when your mom was shitting yellow. <laughs> yeah, Vic Hood, Donald Hood, um, who's in the poker game, yeah. had a uh, big health scare on right Saturday. And, yeah, Hood, you had me calling about five different people that night. and uh, But he's on the message board now. He's doing fine. And uh, there was a lot of friends uh, worried, but like I said, he's he's back in action now. He's good enough to at least play poker on his phone. I know that, so I'm happy to hear that. X Man <coughs> coming out with a raise to 25 with the Ace Nine on the button, but Imad is also here to play tonight. Seven five of clubs, and he's going to three bet this to 80. Yeah. Folds all the way around, and so we're going to go heads up. And for all the poker players watching here, especially if you're a 1-3, one, 2-2 two, one, two player, really watch these hands. I mean, we were seeing a wide range of hands tonight. We yeah. A king, nine, king board, X-Man. Flops the best of it. But you can learn a lot here from how these gentlemen are playing, especially if you're wanting to open up your range. Watching the position they're in. Watching their bet size. And just a smooth call. Looks like a queen comes on the turn. Imad keeping up appearances here. would be an all-in here for X-Man to call. And sure enough, there's the all-in. See if our uh, graphics are correct here. Eddie's going to make sure the uh, count is right. Yeah, it looks dead on to me. Just the eye test. I think it was 272 so $3 off. Right in the wheelhouse. All right, let's see what you got, guys. You have to? Yeah. yeah. He's going to double up here, 871 in the middle. Nice hand, X-Man. And a <laughs> big, big sigh of relief Yeah. from Xavier, a.k.a. X-Man. And I'm sure the same sigh of relief... 
from uh, his mom, who's watching tonight. She says she gets nervous watching him play. This has been just guns blazing. Yeah, it really I mean, has. We've We're been going on not even for a full hour right yeah. now, Vic. Hand after hand is two, three hundred dollars in the pot pre flop on a five hundred dollar max buy in game. I don't see this pace changing at all. We're going to be here till uh, 11 15 here tonight. And you better buckle up because uh, the action is going to continue. Just as I say that, there's Levine with 6-4 in the hijack. Going to raise it up to 35 to Dom's point. Look at these ranges. Look at the position bets that are being made. Call from Imad on the button with Jack-8. Yeah, great learning tool. <coughs> 25 for Shimmy to complete, and he does. So we're going to go three-handed here to the flop. Six jack ace, couple of diamonds. Ahmad with mid pair. After losing a big hand, and he's going to check that. Nobody with the flush draw on the turn. Nobody's got a diamond. King of Hearts on the river. Imad's jack is still good. They're going to check it to showdown. Did uh, Buddha lose his job as assistant to the dealer? I don't think so. He, uh, that is a good question. I haven't seen it. Is that what... Uh, Maybe he got the boot. I don't think so. Buddha says, if you're having fun playing poker, you're not doing it right. Actually, I believe the phrase is, if poker is exciting, mm -hmm. then you're not doing it right. Yeah, I, I don't get to play as much as I would like to, but every time I play poker, it's a good day. Shimmy now. And the blind. I got a straddle and raise the 50 from Buddha. Mix it up here with Ace 5. MGM Bob with Big Slick suited. Let's see a three bet here. Yeah, and from what you've seen so far, when you get a hand like Ace King, certain tables you might smooth call fifty and think, "Oh, I'm going to get a heads up." But right now, if yeah. you don't want to go multi-way, I think minimally has to be one fifty in an attempt to get a heads up. From what we've seen that with the action here, and just within the first hour, and I say that attempt loosely, right. Oh, man, come on. You can't ask me for the cards. What can I? I'm going to show my hand. Too bad. I'm allowed to ask for the this cards. This is BS. You just got to worry. He's an idiot. If you don't want to show his hand, he wouldn't. He's bluffing. He knew I would fold to it. 
I think I hear some sour grapes here. I love it. Here's some sour grapes here. Get him, MGM Bob. Boy, it's uh, it's getting deep in there. Meantime, Imad quietly raising it up to 25 with the ace 10. Just a casual green chip. Ammo been real quiet here tonight. Now on the button, he's going to raise this up. It's going to make it 70 with the king queen. And there is the appearance of the rock. $10 straddle button. They're going to be talking about this for a while. Now Imad, 45 to call. And is he going to make a uh, four bet here? Or is he just doing an accounting here? Take an inventory. He's been playing 6-5 big, so I'm not going to put it past me. And he ace does. Ten. Here comes a four bet. Ace-10. <clears throat> Interesting four bet with Ammo, who has only played one hand here so far. He did show 7-6. And he did show 7-6. But either way, Imad is here to play, and he's going to put him to the test. I'll vote for it. You know what else is going to do? I'm going to put the pressure on. And here it is, all in, in a snap call. Just like that, 598 in the middle. Wow. And we love this view. Thank you very much, Eddie. This is a race here. Ace right in the window, fought with a five and a queen. Both players hitting it. And a king on the turn. Still out, though. Right now, ammo in the lead. And it holds. On the river, ammo. 598 going his way. Wow. It's been a uh, tough night so far for Imad. After a uh, loss of a big hand. to X-Man, and now big hand to uh, Ammo. Ammo with a uh, shout out again to his mom and dad. First time he was on the live stream. And uh, his whole family was watching. I asked him tonight, I said, who's going to be watching? He said, probably the whole family again tonight. They really enjoyed it last time. I did. How much is it? Three what? Three thirty-seven. Three. There we go. Thirty-five. Oh, you had those in play already? The black ones. No, you just pull them off. Yeah, we have. Count your chips. Tell them how much you have. You going to five? Oh, okay. I think I'm going five. Yeah, nice pot. I see Bonnie out there. Look at there's yeah. a perch master, Bob K. Bob K. Got Jeff, Jeff Wilkie. Got uh, Moose out there. We got Scuba Steve. Steve. Scuba Steve. Oh, and Sergio Gonzalez, by the way, right there. This orange jacket. So yeah, a lot of celebrities at that table. Tony. I get a kick out of dealing to Tony. This guy never stops smiling. Tony's awesome. And a big wrestling fan, so me and him have a lot to talk about, Vic. Yeah. But look at that. MGM Bob up 563, Buddha up 425. Then the chips are just getting moved around. But already two players close to the 1K mark here. Yeah, Levine and Imad really uh, 
feeling the worst of it so far, but this is a five-hour live stream. There's plenty of time to watch this graphic one go pot away. up and down and up and down. Every single pot, there's two to $300 in the middle before we get cards, so it takes 20 minutes, then all of a sudden you're up the two grand. We, we saw it last week. Actually, it was Levine. And I'm sorry, should I say the week before last week because we had a tournament live stream last oh, week. But that's the right. The last Thursday, no knit. Yes. Levine was on a heater for about a half an hour and literally – Jumped up like seventeen grand profit. Seventeen hundred, yeah. Oh yeah, seventeen. I say seventeen grand. Maybe seventeen grand on the table though. There was. It was yeah, that yeah. Was, it was big. There game. was at least that amount. That was a big night. Now back to the action. Got to raise the thirty-five from Ahmad. And three players, that's right, Imad, just the three of us. Imad does get a piece of this. But Shimmy with the bigger piece, ace five of diamonds. We now have uh, Paul. Paul, a.k.a. Poison Arm Paul. AKA Champagne Thief. <laughs> Tell us how you feel, Nick. <laughs> and now Shimmy turns the nut flush draw along with his top pair. Life is good. just told Colonel to not mark the cards. Well, no one's off limits with Buddha. He, yep. he, he even attacks the kindest of souls. So that dealer change on the top of the hour means that we've got a bomb pot. All right, bomb pot we'll do. Ten players, so we're going to have a, a single board bomb pot. Everybody in for ten bucks. Down a nice pot there. Get a little momentum. And we got a queen nine ace board couple of spades. Levine's first act here. Oh, and we might have uh, an issue with our graphics. Yeah, so we're going to. The. Uh, didn't get switched over to. Uh, So we'll just go with the full old them. school ESPN style. <laughs> we'll just go with <laughs> Tyler, are these two cards, at least two cards that they have in their hand? I'm just curious. Are, are, can we do halvesies? What do Tyler has to say? Are those two cards, uh, Tyler, theirs, though? All right, so yeah, so we got half their hand, so it's like a mystery hand with two hole cards. I think the uh, bomb pop came a little bit out of left field. I wasn't sure they had it scheduled. Check. The important thing I'm is at the uh, clock who's, and it's not. who's betting and who's calling is really all that matters. Yeah, the, the time is off a little bit on it, so that might have been. Check. Check around. Two sixty in the middle. Jack. Anybody with Jack Ten? Anybody? Jack. 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 Check around. Ace the bomb pop on this here. Two pair. Ace queen. Somebody's got Ace Queen. Two pair. 
Levine. <clears throat> Got to show for the win. And a much needed pot there for Levine. Looks like it's going his way. A little momentum booster. Yes, much needed. Get that muscle memory activated when you're used to raking in those chips. Yeah, we want to thank everybody for joining us here. We are the reserve in Toledo, Ohio. Our staple 1 3. No limit hold'em cash game on Thursday night. No knit Thursday. The next live, and this is a five hour. The next live stream will be Saturday night. Regular Joe Poker Show. And I'm going to go get an update. See if we're looking for uh, players on that one. Because it is so simple. Just to give us a call. Marissa's the schedule right is now. there on the board. Marissa's got the hookup. Yes. Holla if you, wa you want to hear. She does happen to be uh, in the cage tonight. So if you call, that's who you're going to be talking to. Oh, yeah, Was the 20 a restraddle or a raise? Just a straddle. $10 straddle, $20 straddle. Call, call. Derek now, King-10 suited. Bumps it up to 75, playing his position strong there. Bops it all in. No, I asked you. Everybody? Oh, no. The action was on in, but I heard all in. Yeah, action was on Bob. asking you a question. Forget about do you, have, do you have a bullseye painted on your forehead or what? No, just oh, no, yeah. I will say Bob's Bob's getting shot in all directions tonight. MGM's got to fend him off. Levina on the left. Buddha on the right. He's the Oreo filling. We got four players now. Jack, seven, eight, rainbow board. X-Man and Ahmad both hit their eights. Derek with a gut shot. Ahmad with a gut shot with his pair. Can't hate that flop. Heads up action. Oh, and another eight. What a money card right now. X Man with the run good. Man, the case eight on the turn. X Man, eleven hundred dollar pot. And the ace comes in the play, and X Man is going to profit six oh nine right there. I have a nut flush draw. I have a nut flush draw. Do you want to buy more chips? He has chips. Oh, I'll buy more chips. I should have made a buy. I always buy extra. I wasn't calling you. Yeah, but I might have got him out. You just donked, right? It was not the best hand. Oh, okay. Nice hand. Big trip. I didn't have a good idea. No. And there's the updated Sandy's X Man up to seventeen hundred. Nine hundred dollar profit right now. MGM Bob having a good night too. Same with Buddha. Three players in the red. Gonna try to claw their way back. Also, if you're just tuning in, smash that like button, guys. That thumbs up. It goes a long way. See, we're already up to 35. Goal is always 100, so if we get to 50 soon, be much appreciated. Helps us get in the algorithm with the YouTube channel, basically. We get some random traffic. Pretty much, uh, that's our bread and butter of growing the channel. And look at here. 
We got a raise up from Shimmy with the mystery hand. X Man with Ace King suited. MGM Bob with Queen Jack offsuit. And here we go, folks. Buckle up. Another big hand alert. Levine's going to come along with eight deuce suited in clubs. Wide open ranges. Maybe 200 to go. Total. Yeah, 240 total. Close to 200 on top of the initial raise. Shimmy gets out of the way. So Derek over the MGM. And if there's one player at the table that is capable of this, it's Levine, but he avoids temptation. It's a new discipline, Levine. About a half an hour, you called it. You said if somebody has ace-king suited, they're probably going to make the bet a minimum of 150. Well, this time it was 240. Yeah. Should be bumped it up to 55 with two with actually three callers behind him. So yeah. he just taking down that pot, he profited around $200. Right. The X-Man picked up some dead money there. Made the right move at the right time. We haven't seen a hand yet, Vic, where it's like ace king versus queens or jacks, or maybe, you know, jacks versus kings, kings versus queens. Still waiting for that one. These players have been playing mostly wide open range hands. I mean, they're basically, you got ace 10 being played like it's ace king at this table, and here it is $25 to go from Corey. Levine, queen jack suited, and hearts. Going to three bet this, make it 85. X Man says not this time. Back over to Corey with the ace 10. Yeah, not much thinking here. Levine's got a table image of unlimited range. Here we go, heads up. Levine first to act. Here's the flop. We got a deuce six jack board Levine with top pair. 180 in the pot. I think if you see the action that's going around the table, if you lose a pot of you know 150, 200, you almost immediately want to add on because you know you have a chance for a full double. I, I believe you're absolutely right. Yeah, Tyler might be working overtime tonight with the add-ons. I think it's going to be a little bit more in high gear in this game. Speaking of Tyler, taking the uh, tournament down last night, he's on a bit of a roll. It's going to raise this up to 25, get two callers. We're going to be three-handed going to the flop. Check. Check. Yep. They check it around. Free card. Here comes the turn. Ace high. Still in the lead for MGM Bob. It's good right now. And King High is going to take it down. Yeah. Bet in the air, and it pays off. The aggression pays off. X-Man's mom has got to be happy with that. 
Yeah, he's rolling right now. He's starting to get some momentum here. Getting close to the 2K mark in front of him. And Chosen One, if you do get a chance, we've had a request for the uh, updated VPIP on tonight's game, if you please. There's the VPIP. You mod it up top with 50%. And I did verify that we're still looking for a couple more players for Saturday night. This Saturday night, four hour live stream. Please be here by uh, 5 30. No later. But if you want to be playing in that live stream or any of the cash game live streams, just give us a call here at the reserve in Toledo. We got four players now going to the flop. MGM Bob three betted it up to 60. <laughs> and we have a 775 board open ended straight draw for Levine and a full house for Corey. Check, check. Over pair for MGM Bob. This could be a huge hand the way this table's pl been playing. And look at here. Levine open ended makes that snap call. And now, if you're Corey, you got 440 in front of you. Might as well just shove it all in. Yeah. And he does. With the smooth call behind him, Bob could get away from these jacks. And while the action's been pretty heavy, this is uh, this is the first time we're up over uh, a thousand in the pot, and it's about to get bigger than that. Wow! Wow is right. Yep. Huge pot here. Big hand alert. Action flop. Call your friends. Call your neighbors. Call your cousins. And Corey basically just needs a dodge of Jack and a Jack only. And there's a oh oh, oh got counterfeited. Boy. I forgot about the seven. Unbelievable. Wow. Play. Right now, Bob just took over. Ninety-seven percent chance favorite to win this hand now. Corey's got to be sick in his stomach. There's sixteen hundred in the middle. Oh, and my goodness. Some salt in the wound there. Wow. Just an ugly turn in the river for Corey. Big $1,600 pot here. Over three full stacks. Over to MGM Bob. Oh, and he's just like swimming in them as he brings them in. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you teach little kids how to swim. You reach and pull. You reach and pull. Reach and pull. A gross turn in river for Corey. You got a feel for him there. $1,600 pot. You flop the full house with your fives. You got to think it's on a lock. Just like that, in a blink of an eye, it gets taken away from you. Got a restraddle here to 20 from Shimmy. Now the Colonel, Ace Queen of Diamonds. Going to take it up to 65. MGM Bob still stacking chips. Gets out of the way with his King Six. Levine not looking it up with the 7 4. X-Man coming along with King-Queen. Imad makes the call. 10-8 of hearts. And here we go. And Shimmy's got the 10-8, this time clubs. Yeah, that's his hand. Five, five players. players, look at this. 5-5, five, five, deuce, right out there. Ace high, still in the lead for Colonel. Check. Check. 
And Colonel wisely not taking his foot off the gas here. I love seeing this from Colonel. He's using his table image. Yes. He's got the best hand, but just ace high. But how often do you see Colonel even try to make this play? This is a new Colonel. Well, he's coming off of a big win last night in a seniors tournament in Cleveland. I mean, at best, the Colonel's table image, you're putting him on nines. That's probably like the weakest hand with that bet. With a pre flop raise. Yeah, he had the shimmy. Shimmy shows the shimmy. And to get rid of his yellow, no niche chip, which is what we do here on Thursday nights, the Colonel shows the ace queen of diamonds. And I love that he showed that. For the whole table to see. Well, he had to do that to get rid of his uh, yellow no nit chip, but yeah. Because a lot of times he's got a lot better than that, Vic, so yeah. maybe that'll help him out getting paid off later on down the road. Maybe they I think he's just on a C bet and he's got the pair next time. Derek now, Jack Tennis Spades, early position. He's going to raise this up to 45. The Colonel now picks up pocket fours. And he's I think he's still stacking chips up. That's a good problem. And I think he's going to grab nine of those reds and go ahead and make the call. And he does. MGM Bob couldn't wait to make that call. Levine's Levine now, 7-3 of spades. He's going to push all in. And now sixes for the X-Man. And there's a call. Man, oh man, Dominic, this action tonight. It's been unmatched recent. Just fantastic. Which one? MG and Bob's going to have a decision with Ace Jack. He's got the two loosest players at the table going at it right now. I think a lot of players at the table, ace-jack's an easy fold when you see two all-ins. Normally you like to make the initial raise with ace-jack, not call, but when you look at the landscape right now. Well, after that big win from uh, by MGM Bob, and he's up around two grand, really good chance here he's going to make this call. He's uh, logged a lot of hours playing with uh, Levine which only means he knows the range is wide. Doesn't mean that he knows how to put Levine out of hand, particularly at this point. Seven, three, but he does get out of the way, and the X-Man had made the call with the sixes. 6.09 in the middle, all in pre-flop, and we got a... Ten, oh, deuce, boy. ace, all diamonds, and there's a king. And Bob is going to be kicking himself. And a three. For and laying down that ace jack. The heat is on for X-Man. He's up over, well over 2,000 now. Well, the karma's with him because his shout-out was to his mom. Yeah, when you get it. Right? When you do the mom shout-out, you got to get some extra good juice. That's right. Yeah, Marty, thanks so much. I am definitely on the mend. I know I don't sound like I'm 100% yet, but I'm getting there. And everybody's well wishes have been greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. This, too, shall pass. All right, going like Lord of the Rings right now. Gandalf the Great. Yep, Chris Christine doing a big yell here. Yippee for her son. And he picks up Ace King suited. He doesn't even have enough time to stack up the chips. And he's now up over two grand in front of him. Yeah, twenty three hundred. And the ammo has been so quiet here tonight. He's just not getting cards. The cards that he's been playing really been kind of forcing it a little bit without much of a reward. X Man just calls Buddha's raise. And we got a 
10 10 jack board. Check. Flush draw for Buddha. And check, check. Here's the free card to the turn. 75. A bet of 75. A snap call. An oh boy. Buddha now getting the flush, the check mark. Bet's 225. Going to value town here, Dom. I'm surprised he made this bet. There's two tens and two jacks out there. This is a different Buddha. We're seeing a different colonel, now a different Buddha. I mean, unless he's... You think he's getting married to aces or kings and you can't let him go. It's about the only hand you're going to get paid off right here. Possibly. And he shows king five of clubs and he takes down a profit here of 129. That show could benefit. I almost wonder if Buddha just really wanted to show that hand, too. Such an odd play. Haven't seen that too much from him. Marty, you're not the first one tonight to uh, do a shout-out to Nick for the job that he did filling in on Tuesday. I will definitely let him, let him know. Yeah, Nick, Nick did a great job. We love our viewers. We love the chat. We love the feedback particularly when it's positive, <coughs> but you all mean uh, very much to us, put a lot of value in uh, the feedback we get from you all, appreciate it. Yeah, passive is not the way to go here tonight if you want to try to add to your chip stack. And we've got another pot brewing here. Look at all of that paint there. 150 in the middle. Four players going to the flop now. We have a 10 jack, three board, couple of spades, top pair for Shimmy, open ender for Derek, flush draw for Levine, and top pair from Ammo, Vic. And Derek comes out strong, $100. We might see stacks going, sir. And a smooth call. Curious to see what Shimmy does here. And he's all in. think Levine can fold this. Not for the amount in the pot. And he's only got 365. There's already 1100 in there. There's a chance that Levine's full in this. I don't. Yep, there it goes. And just like that, we have 1,500 in the middle. Just like that. Oh, I, Neil, I'll bring that up, actually. That is that is the one complaint I do have about Nick, Vic. And we'll, we got a big hand, though, going right here. All right. Here. We'll, we'll. Lunch draw, straight draw. Is this is my change. Yep. King. Just push spade up. No spade. And. And no spade there. Wow, and he, he dodges the straight draw and the flush draw. Shimmy is going to pick wow. up a $1,500 pot just like that. Action, Jackson. That's how quickly this game turned. Shimmy was uh, pretty frustrated here. 
in this uh, first hour and a half. Now he's cheesing. Now he's feeling pretty good. So, Vic, real quick. Yeah. Nick, right away, gets on the live stream. Like I said, I thought he did a great job on Tuesday. But he's like, you know, and we got the power hour. And I'm like, yeah, that's not till the very end of the show. And I'm like, well, if you're already advocating it, you can do the power hour for Vic. But if you do the power hour, you got to bring the same energy Vic does. You can't just come in here, do some nilly-dilly power hour announcement. Yeah. And when it got to the power hour. Yes. I would give it like, and Neil can probably concur. And Neil, take out the sarcasm here, real quick, Neil. We want serious Neil for like two seconds, Neil. Just two seconds. I would give it a D plus, and I think I'm being kind. It was. It did not get me hyped, and I had to step in and redo the introduction of the Power Hour because I thought it was a well, little disrespectful of the original Power you, Hour. You gotta give the guy some, you know, some room here. But no, the but commentary he did great on. Good, but but Very the good. power hour, Nick. You <laughs> no, no, Nick. And, and 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 Neil even says it was a three at best. And I don't think he's he's probably being a little bit more straightforward than me. <laughs> Levine's now going to push in for his remaining short stack here, and he's only going to get one uh, caller here. Actually, uh, a little protection here is Corey did a three bet. So we've got 6 3 versus Ace 8. How do you fade? I don't know. Yeah, you guys a lot of bullets. That's all I've done. Like, recently, I haven't been able to fade any of that. They're still talking about that hand a lot. And we got a couple of queens with a deuce. Another deuce. And two pair for Corey. With the Ace. That is the smallest pot of the night, yet somehow we still had an all-in. <laughs> there was an all-in with the scraps, and he takes it down. That's why I thought I heard It's not, but it is. Yeah, Brian, there's no doubt here. Even though we've got 1-3 No Limit Hold'em cash game with a $500 buy-in, we have, uh, on our Thursday night, we have what we would consider to be a Tuesday night lineup, without a doubt. And so the action is just playing very big. No reason to think that that's going to uh, back off at all here. We're a five-hour live stream going until 11.15. We are the reserve in Toledo, Ohio. I can't imagine what it's going to be like once we get to the power hour, how deep the stacks are, Vic, by the rate we're going here. And, wow, Kiwi even is on my side. And she she's always super positive. <laughs> she gave the power hour a D-. minus. Yeah, just the power hour. We're just talking straight That's it. power hour. That's it. Vic, you got to go back on Tuesday and at least fast forward and, and listen to it. Okay. Okay. I will do that. Vic, if you ever step outside to get an update on anything today, yes, take an extra like sixty seconds, just one hand, and and then you can give us our rev your your thoughts <laughs> on the show later on. We got to have some fun with Nick, you know. You got to get it, you know. Oh yeah, Levine now re ups to five hundred dollars, and he's got pocket eights. He's going to raise it up to thirty five. I, uh, the SMH there from Ammo. And the pocket eights, ace king for Buddha. 35, 35 to go. And here he goes with the smirk on his face. Yep. With uh, Mr. Josh Black coming into the box now. You just notice how ace king's being played so much more aggressive tonight because of the way the table is playing. And we were just talking about our 5-10 game in the last couple of weeks, how Ace-King is kind of dubbed down pre-flop. Not as many players are three-betting with it. Snap call from Levine. Here we go. Heads up. And there it is. Yeah, straight and flush draw out there. He's like, if you want to call, call. Takes down the pot. $200 profit going to Buddha. 
And that's the thing about Buddha. He, he's happy in getting the riffraff out. He'll take two, three hundred at a time, and at the end of the night, yep. you'll see him up eighteen hundred. Absolutely. Yeah, that is what it says on Buddha. Sir. What does pain, it say? Pain is inevitable. Okay. Suffering is optional. Okay. Very, very deep. And with a mushroom on there. Yeah. Okay. Heads up action here between the X-Man, who's really having a pretty good night here tonight, and Ammo. Things have been really slow. And Ammo's going to get an ace here right in the window. Yeah, three, deuce, ace, couple of diamonds. Unfortunately for Ammo, X-Man really didn't hit any of this. No. This should be a quick one. <coughs> yep. We're not used to seeing that on this live stream so far tonight. I did miss uh, a shout out from uh, Levine. He wanted a shout out to uh, Jacob and Logan. Okay. So based on the uh, grin on his face when he said that, I'm guessing uh, these are some friends of his, probably from the University of Michigan. Go blue. That's my guess. National champs. Now Ahmad, been a little quiet lately, but now he wakes up with ace-queen. And he raises this up to uh, 45. Colonel, will he raise this up? On the button. Smooth call. Smooth call, and that was smooth. I think, too, with Levine Without a behind doubt. him, you kind of want to see what Levine would do and X-Man. I think if you're in Colonel or MGM Bob's spot, yeah. you got two of the highest action players right behind you. And Ahmad. I mean, let's, he's, he's, been, he's a leader in the V-Pip. Yeah. And we got a seven six eight rainbow board, Vic. Got shot for X Man. This is going to come down to aggression, and right now, check check over to Colonel, and Colonel checks it. Free card. King on the turn doesn't help anybody. Still, who wants this? Imad betting like he wants it puts out a bet of a hundred. Neil here in a little bit. Soon we'll get another uh, VPIP update. Imad, been a tough night for him so far, but he puts out the aggression there and takes that pot down. So uh, chosen one if you get a chance. Another request here for an update on the VPIP if you have it, please. And there it is. Take a quick look. X-Man, Levine, Imad, the Colonel, the top. Uh, look at those. Ammo, Buddha, and Corey. Three guys pretty much seen half of the flops. And yeah. And the rest of the tables kind of between 20 and 30%. 
minus ammo, but he's been pretty card dead, like you were saying earlier. Yeah, yeah. he really has. And this is some, one of the best hands he's seen. 40 to go. And he bets it like it's the best hand he's seen in a while. Shimmy's going to play. Shimmy's got a couple of clubs as well. Based on what we're seeing so far, I'd be surprised if we see a club on the flop. And there's another one. And oh boy, oh boy, here we go. Six-handed, 240. And look at that range. Everything you could ask for, and here's the flop. We got a king three ace board. Imad with the flush draw. A pair of kings for X-Man. Ammo with the best made hand right now. Hits his ace. Two hands in a row here where Ammo has played an ace and hit an ace. Last time it paid off for him a little bit, but not much. Let's see if he can get some more money into this pot. Yeah, I think so with that flush draw. And X-Man, he's been running good. He might want to peel one more card and just play the heater. Absolutely. Actually, he's going to see where he's at. He might think his king-queen is good right here. Maybe putting ammo on a pocket pair. Yeah. Continuation bet. Makes the, tough, makes the decision a little tougher here for Imad. I agree he was probably going to be calling that bet of 80, but now he's got a, something to think about. I think this is entices him more to call. Oh, you well, got a, you got a flush draw, you're getting a better bang for your buck. That's true. I mean, I mean, I would, if I have a flush draw, I'd rather call with two players in the hand than one. You're drawing? It's juicier? However, it would be like X-Man to bet a flush draw, to raise with a flush draw. And when you're only got a flush draw of 10-5. Wow, he folds. And he does. He gets out of the way. I shocked on that by what he's played so far this live stream. That one surprised me. I don't think he felt strong enough. I think he felt like maybe X-Man with a wide range might have been raising with a flush draw. Any other player at the, almost any other player at the table, I wouldn't, that thought wouldn't come into my mind. Buddha raises, I don't, I don't think he's raising with a flush draw. True. Right? Corey, not raising with a flush draw. In this situation. Yeah, just, you know, you call a pre-flop raise with 10-5 suited. It's about as good as it gets. Unless you hit, you know, two pair. What? Hey, this game's been unpredictable, Vic. Here it is. Before the uh, number can get out there, X-Man's going to snap call this. He is behind. Ammo a 3-1 to one favorite here There's so far with the ace. X-Man right now, four outs. One of three queens still in the deck. And a king. That's the help that he needs so far. Yeah, you put out over 200 and he goes all in over the top 288. You can't be in love with it, but you almost have to call. And a $1,300 pot. And here comes the turn. Oh, and the run good continues. Oh, my goodness. Two pair. And now, yeah, the flush would have came. Oh, wow, the, the straight, flush would have come. I shocked about the 10-5 suited. It's getting out of there. Like I said, you're, you're more inclined to call. The, oh. We but talk about this all the time, Dom, about momentum. Mm -hmm. And when you are in a groove, when things are just coming your way. The heat wave. And this is, it's a heat wave, and it's certainly... Um, that's certainly the way things are going for X-Man here tonight. Yeah, this is it's getting big. He's found himself in a in a few situations that are just premium in terms of uh, profit. And in this case, coming from behind it's a big, big element of this game. And Chris Christine, a big whew, this time. 
one of the hands, she yelled out a yippee, but this time, big sigh of relief. We're at 50 likes right now. Please be sure to hit that like button. It helps us here at the reserve. We appreciate it. Derek's going to raise with deuces. 35 bucks. Uh, Levine on the button with ace queen suit. He's not going to be shy. Three bets up to 105. I want to hear some feedback about playing the twos. It's a particular hand that's not close to my heart, and that's exactly how I would play it, is try to get a bet out there in early position. But making the call here would have to have a lot to do with uh, my my chip stack. But he does make the call, so we're heads up. Deuces versus ace, queen of hearts. We got a couple of kings and a five. Deuce is still ahead, Vic. The mighty duck sand. All in. Levine wants to shut this down. He was willing to uh, the bluff. gamble. He was willing to bluff with the ace, queen of hearts. And it paid off for him there. And so he's in a rebuild mode. MGM Bob having a strong night. X-Man really so far the story of the night. It's been a tough night here for Imad. Shimmy was really quiet but got into a big hand. It just takes one sometimes, Vic. And it just takes one. Yeah, you get two players going in with you, triple up. And we got a $20 restraddle here. <laughs> as if the game isn't big enough. Right. I love the way uh, Buddha tees things up for us so well. And he's just brought up the quarter million coming up. And we definitely want to talk about that with you all here tonight. Huge, huge, huge <coughs> tournament coming up. A big tournament coming up and a big series and a big celebration. It's it's one of our biggest tournaments that we've had here, period. Now, Ammo, pocket tens. Using air quotes here, a real hand. This, could, this tournament coming up, by the way, could be the biggest tournament with just us hosting in our history. It has that potential. It does. We partnered up with Mad River for just shy of two million in a one million guarantee. That's historical in the whole state of Ohio. But yeah, strictly just the reserve hosting. I could see this quarter million guarantee going way over that and breaking our own record of biggest prize pool at this location. I have a feeling the Wizards going to have to try to map out a couple extra tables somehow. At least <laughs> that's going to be interesting. That's what we're talking about. Another million, not the bounty. I think we added the third in this room again, Vic? Yes. You mean a, a fourth? Oh, yeah. yeah. A fourth, yes, correct. A third extra yeah, a third table extra. into this room. Thank you. Will have to be utilized during the series coming up. We will be celebrating our third year, three year anniversary. Three years ago, this room that you're looking at was a church. Really? Yep, it was a little church. Things have changed in a sh really a, sh a short amount of time. But MGM Bob now, pocket queens. Ladies night. Raising it up. 130 is the bet. And in the main room three years ago, to a date, just about every wall in the main room was still wet with paint. Wet paint. The floor wasn't done yet. 
Probably. Yeah, the evolution of this room has really grown. Right. Good fall. Right, I should have just left it at 10. Yeah, that's all. I would have just cost you 10. Yeah. I'm going to look at it. Lift it this time. Go to the reservepoker.com and take a look at the three year anniversary series beginning Friday, April 19th. It's a fifty thousand dollar guarantee kickoff event from the nineteenth to the twenty first. Really? Why not? Do whatever you want. You know? No. I mean, what, what's the and then a number of, uh, as usual, great events coming during that time: a senior event, a team event, a single re-entry event. And a double green chip bounty. The people just love this bounty tournament we just had, and the questions came up time and time again. When is the next bounty tournament? Oh, yeah. Just love it. I'll well, tell you what, the 100K with that $500 bounty, I hope that sticks every single year. You know, it's a nice bridge between the Millie and then our three-year anniversary for a big tournament to have it in between and... I can't say enough of how much I love the action on that day, too. The whole day, because of that $500 bounty. Yeah. What it brought. And we got to raise up the 60 from Corey, mixing it up here with 9 6 suited. Colonel with the suited ace coming along. Three handed here. Ammo, another pair, this time threes. Here comes the flop from Mr. Black. And we got a eight, four, five board couple of clubs. Got a shot for Corey, the initial razor. Bottom pair for Colonel is the best right now. Yes, it is. going to take this down. Shows the ace four. Gets rid of his yellow no knit chip. Last person standing with the yellow no knit chip. $40 right off the top of their stack or out of their pocket. One of the features here of our Thursday no knit Thursday. Looking for a couple more players for Saturday night. The regular Joe Poker Show. That is also a 1-3 No Limit Hold'em cash game. Buy-in of 500. $35 from Levine. Ammo now is going to rate three bet this with King Ten from the button. 150 is the new bet after Corey had called Levine's. Or no, this is a uh, $35 straddle. Don't look away for a second. Folks. No, do it not look away. It, 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 it's hand after hand after hand. The action has been nonstop. The chip leader's over there saying, let's up the game. Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I don't push for action. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> now he's got chips. Oh, so he had 500. Yeah. So he's saying we get more ones in the game. And now what do we like need the ones for? I mean, what do we need them for, for real? Three players going to the flop, 499 in the middle. 
So next time you make it three chips, I can call a lot less. So, yeah. And we have a deuce eight two board. I'm sorry, a eight four deuce board. Couple of spades for Levine. He's got the flush draw and he's going to lead out. All in. This is going to put X man to the test here. As his fives are still best currently, but he also has ammo behind him. It's the initial razor. And I think I heard a call from, yeah, call from X-Man. Ammo has outs here, and I think that's what he was just doing, was trying to calculate his guesstimate of what those outs might be. Oh, yeah, there's a 1,000 in the pot, and you got 300 in front of you. Temptation. Yeah. Getting uh, four to one on your money here. Yeah, you gotta have all your fingers. You gotta have all my fingers. Just hold the king of spades too. Are you sure? Just one? No, two. And I like Ammo taking his time here to decide, based on what he's seeing with these two players tonight, and you know he's been paying attention. Every one of these players. Strong cash game players because they're paying attention all the time. Taking notes, internal notes. Oh, and a set of fives. There it is. And a good lay down there for Ammo. I'm, I'm not surprised, even with that 9 hitting, giving an open-ended straight draw with Levine's Jack-10 from fading because Mr. X over there is running a clinic right now, and the run good is in seat 4. So far, he cannot be stopped. He cannot be touched. If you remember the Cheo Sonnen speech with Joe Rogan, he could be given that right now. We are just in awe of being in Mr. X's poker table, watching Mr. X play poker. He is running pure. Bob. Bob, right? Yeah. Yeah. Bob. He hit the right five. There is two black oh, five black. Yeah. He hit the right. Yeah, hit the <laughs> I swear, because you had two red five. Yeah. There, there is no, that's the most Here we go. Let's buckle up again. I know. Looks like we got a bomb pot. All players are going to be getting four cards. Ten dollars each. Single board. Good luck. Who's the button now? Yeah. We got a nine deuce seven board all spades. Check. Going on the table, not seeing anyone with spades so far. Here's speculation, sir. Derek says, I'm not sure. Right? He's not talking about the hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was talking about this one. Was telling me. Yeah, and I'm not seeing any flaw. Oh, there it is. Hey, Derek no, just flops the nuts. Yeah, I'm on lockdown. I got these chips screwed you know down to the table. Down? See anyone yeah. with the set? Yeah, looking on. around. No, not saying. seeing it right now, folks. He played two. <laughs> Still looking for a set. Nothing. No, I actually, I think Derek might take this down for 75. There's really not anything out there for these players to really be committed to this pot. And at the same time, not a bad thing. You don't have to worry about chopping it. Sharing is not caring in poker. You got to get greedy. And Derek takes it down. Nice hand, Derek. 
And that was probably the most mild bomb pot we've seen in quite some time. One player flops the nuts. No one gets a hand to really draw against him. Boom, boom, shake the room. Daniel Sun in the box dealing. And so at 8.30 they're talking about you can add on or buy in up to $1,000 in this game. And basically we, we, you see the action and how deep everyone's getting too. So if you go bust, you know, you can have a chance to win your money back. It really puts you – the game got so big, Vic, I think it put you in a little handicap, you know, in the in the latter half if you could only buy in for 500 Yeah. As crazy as that seems. Oh my goodness. A seven for Colonel, seven six, and he's got seven seven Jack, and he's reaching for chips here. Nobody with the uh, heart flush draw other than the back door. But nobody really got a piece of this, so I no. think uh, Colonel's going to put a bet out here and take this pot down. Not to mention Colonel's table image. Is not one to mess around with. Even though, like I said, we did see the ace queen. Yeah. Earlier from him, but ideally. Sandy, you'll uh, keep watching here another 15 minutes. You'll see me uh, walk in and hand a note to uh, Bob, letting him know that you're watching. I knew he would appreciate that. Also went out there and talked to our most excellent security guard, one of our security guards, Richard. And Richard wants to do a shout out to his daughter Nisi. She and Jaden are getting married this Saturday. Hey oh. So we know where Richard will be. Congratulations. So uh, I think it's Patrick, our other uh, security guard, will be filling in for him. But you're you're not going to be here Saturday. You're not going to Nisi's wedding, are you? No, I actually have a family function that I'm going to be attending the day before Easter. So we're going up to my brother's house for that. Seeing my nieces also. If you do happen to come into uh, the reserve tomorrow for the free roll and you see Richard, be sure to wish him well. He's quite excited about his daughter's wedding on Saturday. And by the way, I'll be here all day. I picked up Nick's shift in the morning dealing. We're going to have that 10-15 tournament. If you're feeling froggy during the day, come on and play. I think he was in dad mode, had to do some dad activities. I'm going to be in uh, grandpa mode. I've got the uh, five-year-old grandson tomorrow. By the way, look at this hand, Vic. Kings for MGM Bob, three betting, sevens and queen nine, and it's almost, it gets harder to fold hands with all this action. Yeah. Three players. Oh, and a seven right out there. Oh, wow. but the ace falls. I mean, normally, Shimmy's got to be loving that ace inside, thinking it's a great card, but... That one hurt the action, but still, you can't complain when you have sevens versus kings and you take the lead on the flop. Yeah, I would like to see him play this like he's got ace-jack. or Yeah, play it the same. There's enough in there, too. You don't want to see a free card with two players in the hand. You just never know what can come up. We, we saw it earlier when uh, Corey flopped a full house. Fives full of sevens. Oh, look at this action that Shimmy's getting. He wow. bet. And he got a raise from MGM Bob. Music to his ears. And now he, he could smooth call. You highly doubt he's doing that on a draw. He's not playing a funny hand like 10-9. You can pretty much rule that out. M majority of the time. You want to talk about it? Or? 
And I'll tell you what, after that comment with MG and Bob, I think Jimmy might be more inclined just to smooth call. Sometimes you might change your game plan by what the player is saying to you. And it just looks like Bob is, is giving off the vibes like if he just smooth calls this no matter what he's firing on the turn. Yeah, I said if you want to talk about it, now you're not talking. Well, he didn't ask me a question. He's just speculating. I said he had aces. Oh, you said aces? Well, it didn't technically He's going to call? Yeah, I don't blame him. Queen on the turn. Wow. Doesn't give him anything else. Yeah. He, he wanted to see where his kings were at. He found out with that call. And because of the yellow no net chip, <laughs> Shimmy does show the sevens. Wow. And MGM Bob patting himself on the back here for sl putting the brakes on. Yeah, Shimmy still profited $624 out of that pot. Yeah. It's a nice hand by Shimmy. And he's up to 2 k <laughs> I did. From his original <laughs> buy-in. <laughs> Has been on the live stream a little while. <laughs> Neil says if Richard's not going to be here, he'll come by and streak. See if we can uh, ask Richard to leave his taser behind. We can borrow that. I'd rather have you have an ace of fucking. I don't think it's a two outer. At least that would have been a three outer. Yeah. 35. So. Okay. Yeah. Nobody made you check raise. Suited ace from a mod. Raising it up to 35. And I'd like to say this has uh, something to do with the yellow no nit chip, but this is basically a mod's game. This is uh, how he likes to play. Oh, you've seen the hands. We've, we've seen seven, five, ten, four, and seven, we, three in the hand. Why, why not with the suited ace? Yeah, right? you got a players. You got players like Imad and Levine and uh, X Man. The yellow no nit chip really doesn't have much of an impact. But we're going to go uh, three handed to the flop. Jack, eight, three, couple of diamonds. Here comes a Checks free card. On. Straight <coughs> draw now for Derek. And for Levine. That king gives Broadway the Derek. Asking you shall receive. Unfortunately for him, no one got any part of that, but he's going to take down the pot. Nice hand, Derek. Yeah. Position and patience in this game can be a virtue and an asset, without a doubt. And there's our cumulatives. X-Man, Shimmy, MGM, Bob. I'm still calling nits, huh? Buddha, Colonel, half of the field having a good night. The other half of the field in the red, Levine. And Imad really having the toughest night tonight. And there is the uh, main room. I believe we're up to uh, 30 players, maybe more for our satellite. Maybe we should have a rule that if you're the <coughs> standing, but you have the highest B pip, you get a pass. Jeez, go on. You're always trying to let's, let's complicate trying to, this a little more. No, he's just he's <laughs> trying to not gamble. 
Oh, and MRH, I'm so glad you brought that up. It's another thing we have to talk about coming up is the World Series of Poker main event, main event satellite. As soon as we get this hand. And Chosen One, do you have a graphic for that? For the uh, main event satellite? Always want to encourage everybody to go to the reserve. Okay. Go to the reserve.com. Yeah, the reserve poker.com and you can uh, look that up but that's another exciting event coming up between now and our three-year anniversary and look at this one of my favorite things in life six-handed yeah 304 in the middle nine six jack a couple of hearts straight flush draw for the colonel yeah that's a pretty flop indeed open ender for Derek Corey hits a pair of nines. Oh. Oh. Derek with the queen of hearts, so we know it's gonna it's not gonna hit that way. I get it the I mean the point of the no nid is to not sit around, you know. He plays every hand and still gets stuck with the butt. I know, uh, that's just why that's yeah. why I want this rule. If oh, you've right. got the highest V pick, you don't have to pay the nid. It was originally it was originally called a stand up. It doesn't have anything to do with the the people that want to stand up. Right. Right. Stand up. So they just change the next. Oh! It is. Hits the flush, but now Derek with the queen high flush draw. Still has outs. And he, oh, oh, what a money card for Colonel. Derek hits the straight. Wow. And yeah, all in in a snap call. Colonel's going to profit 740 there. Is it possible I can change my seat? Now we can have double board on five. Right? Yeah. You want to sit here? Yeah, I'll move All right, we'll yeah and we've got a... Uh, well, Wisher from Dallas, Texas. Thank you. Oh, shout out to Mom for tuning in, Mom. Thanks for the shout out. Hope you're doing well down in Dallas. The uh, she's been actually under the weather too this week. So uh, glad she's starting to feel a little bit better. Her and my stepdad Mike. No fun. The 2024 World Series of Poker main event satellite, $140 buy-in, 30,000 starting stack, 20-minute levels Saturday, April 13th at 12 noon. That's a start time. One a main one main event package for every twelve thousand in the prize pool. What a what do you call it? Max value. Max value moment. Right oh there. my goodness! Saturday, April thirteenth. Well, we're about to get into another hand here as I'm seeing Ace King suited, pocket fours, and everyone's being polite so far. Colonel looking down at the nemesis. Tread lightly, Colonel. You're in bad shape, buddy. He told me he was going to not play that hand. We'll see. And I think we might have uh, lost Imad. No, he, mo he moved over. Oh, he moved over to uh, Derek's seat. Yep. Okay, we lost Derek. So seat is open if you're in the area. We can't do the bat mo the bat signal to Shimmy because he's already here. And Tarantula Nick is working. Fifteen-minute delay here. I was in there fifteen minutes ago, handing a note off to uh, MGM Bob. Is that from your buddy in Florida? No, female friend. Why I'm saying? Why, why, I'm shouting, why I'm shouting out to my massage? Uh, <laughs> what is it? Two ninety-six is a regret. Holy shit! Damn. Ah, no, yeah. Holy shit! Got caught up. Five one seven one. You got like juices? 
Look at this. Two all ins right here. You have fours? Fours or fives. I have one of those. Fours or fives. Which one? Do we have a three-way all in? Did Levine make the call? Is all your money in? Let's see him. I just no. I haven't covered. So what are you showing cards? Yeah. All, right, all three players are now all in. Wow. I, this. I feel like I'm on repeat. Like I keep thinking Thursday. This might be the craziest Thursday live stream, and it keeps just Let upping me. its game. But Vic, I don't know if we've seen this much action ever. On a known it Thursday. Let me pull the uh, weather up. I think we had a full moon not too long ago. 840 in the middle. And we got a 973 board. Couple of clubs. And now a 6 open ender for Levine. That's a big card for him. Gut shot also for fours. And the straight hits for Levine. He takes it down with the ace eight. Oh my goodness. How I have no idea. But a that's a good. much much needed pot there for Levine. He's uh, had a tough night here tonight. Counter to what we've seen the last couple times he's been on the live stream. But that's uh, that's the roller coaster of this game called No Limit Hold'em Poker. Well, Kiwi, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. We would have loved to have had you come over. You've got a sweatshirt on your way, and again, as soon as you get that sweatshirt, send me an email with a picture as well as the hat. Yeah, Kiwi, we always wish you the and best. With your permission, we'll put that on the live stream as soon as we receive that here, maybe in a couple weeks. Yeah, definitely want to see you rocking out the Nemesis hoodie. And speaking of the nemesis, Buddha, he's going to raise it up. And right now, Shimmy's got him hemmed up with King Queen. Well, and there's a queen right in the window. Oh, and this is why I don't oh like boy. King Jack, the nemesis. He has outs. Don't get me wrong. He can hit a 10, but right now Shimmy's got him hemmed up on a nine queen king board. There's a smooth call from Shimmy. Four outs now for Buddha. Neil loves being in these positions. Still just four outs after the uh, eight of diamonds on the turn. Actions on Shimmy with two pair. Looks like 225, 215. He's blocking the straight with his jack. That's probably what's going on through his head. Nope, he had you dominated before the pre-flop action even started because you played the nemesis. But don't listen to your buddy Don, Buddha. Correct, he did a flop a monster. You got ace jack and 
bro. Remember when Buddha talks this much, he usually kicks in his hand. He's kind of giving away what he has now. And that is no lie. Shimmy does not have to fold here in this, I mean the show in this situation because he does not have the yellow no nit chip and he decides to muck the cards. I don't blame him with the and amount of I like seen. that so much, Dom. I absolutely like that. When I grow up, I want to be able to play like Shimmy. Yeah, there's zero point to show your hand right now because yeah. there's so many hands being tabled throughout this whole live stream. Mentioned that uh, Dom's going to be out of town on Saturday. I'll be in the uh, booth here with uh, Nick, and I will be out of pocket on Tuesday. Not sick this time, something planned. And so we've got a special guest coming in. Concrete Dave's going to be joining next Tuesday. Yeah. Or this coming Tuesday, however you want to put that. But look at this, back to the action here. And I'm looking forward to that show with Dave. I. I We'll get back to that actually after this hand going on right now because we've got an all in from Corey. <coughs> 306 to go. X Man up over three grand here tonight. Things have just been coming his way. He's actually a two to one favorite right now. But he's going to let it go. And Corey, really, it's been a, uh, a tight, tough and slow night for Corey. I see that as him trying to really get something going here. Well, he got a six suck out. I mean, yeah. 7-7-5 seven, seven, board. Yeah, pocket fives and a third seven comes on the turn. But, yeah, no, um, with Concrete Dave uh, coming in on Tuesday, looking forward to that. And that would be nice, too, when me and Dave are calling the action, you can kind of get a little insider. Uh, from a player who's been on here, who's played 1-3, who's played 5-5-10. Five, five, and what I you know, like about Dave's game, too, is he's really good at talking to players uh, while he's playing to get information. Looking forward to uh, picking his mind a little bit during the live stream. On, while it's going on the fly, not really going to plan any of that out. But just in certain situations... Especially when we get some of these big hands when you have aggressive players in certain positions around the table. So, yeah, Dave, looking forward to that, brother. Well, I, I'm really looking forward to you having that conversation with him because we've talked about one of the keys, at least for me, watching Dave play, concrete Dave play, is he, he does get reads. And um, not only does he utilize, you know, his, uh, you know, chatter to get those reads, but I think just in general... Uh, a big part of his game is getting reads and, and being able to talk about that. And uh, as a poker player, you really want to be able to take that to another level uh, as you continue to play this game. And by the way, I got a question from Dave. He knows I'm Italian. He says, should I bring some of my mother's homemade meatballs? Oh. Uh, that's a no-brainer, Dave. If you are, It's not even wave, a question, is it? Yeah, if you're going to wave that carrot, I, yeah. I will not eat before I come in, buddy. I'll, I'll show up a half an hour before the show at least. Actually, I'd do that anyway. I'll show up an hour before the show. If you're going to bring those. Pasta and noodles, too, please. I'm just saying those, those are easy. You just got to boil them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at this. Shimmy flopping the straight. Now with the flush draw. X-Man does hit a piece of this. 
He now has a gutch out as well, X-Man does. X-Man just has two outs here. Shimmy getting some more money into the pot. And there's a brick right on the river. See if Shimmy can get some more money out of this. He checks it, hoping, just hoping that X-Man was going to put a bet out there. And he didn't. Unbelievable. Chat board wins again. Undefeated today. Undefeated today. By the way, on the chat board, we are up to 65 likes. Smash that thumbs up. We, we have enough to get to 100 easily. Smash that thumbs up. Get us up there. Well, I, I hit the uh, like button already, but I'm going to give a bunch of hearts here to you everybody to that's watching tonight. Guys, those hearts are straight from Vic, by the Absolutely. way. Absolutely. That is Vic's love to you. Levine, by the way, mixing it up here. King three suited in clubs. He's going to bink it up to 35. That's just kind of like a marinade for this game today. $35 doesn't really get much of the fold. I'm actually surprised we didn't see a couple of loose calls just with the style of play today. Buddha's is coming along. The Buddha looking to just give Levine some action here. Ace Jack versus King Three. Heads up, smallest, one of the smaller pots we've seen here tonight. Buddha in the lead by virtue of his ace. Levine continuation bet with 25. There's a welcome mat, and Buddha steps in, says, "Okay, I'm coming along." That nine is no help to Levine. It doesn't look like it's much interest to Buddha. Eight of hearts on the river. Buddha still with the check mark. And Levine is going to stay after this. He's doing his darndest to get Buddha off of this hand. But he's trying to disguise it as value. Really, 180. Wow, and a call here from Buddha with ace high. The super call. The hero. <clears throat> ace high for Buddha with a smirk on his face. It was almost like the trick cereal commercial. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. That's what Buddha's Buddha was basically saying. Uh, Mike, we just went through the tournaments. We can go through them later on. We just don't want to keep going through the whole stream. We're trying to um, keep that, but we definitely you can check it out at the reserve uh, website. But trust me, we at the end of this live stream, myself and Vic. Uh, we will definitely be going through because there is a lot of tournaments going on. I completely yeah. understand, Mike, why you're asking that question. But yeah, we've been going over through it, hammering it pretty good so far. But yeah, we got our anniversary at WSOP and many others to go through. But Vic, will you say at the end we'll take a little extensive time? We will. One thing I want to mention is uh, was very popular last time we ran this Saturday 3 o'clock tournament. We've got a $10,000 guaranteed monster stack this Saturday that starts at 3. Yes. And we had a great uh, turnout, overwhelming reaction to this because of starting it at 3 o'clock versus 6 o'clock. Pe people saw that on a weekend as being more convenient. That way they're not up, you know, late at night. Uh, with Easter, of course, Sunday, we are closed on Sunday for Easter. Yeah, everyone should be with their families. But that's, that's you know, one, it's not necessarily a big one, but it can be a really great turnout. So uh, put that on your calendar this Saturday, 3 o'clock. But, yeah, we want to keep everybody informed. 
But yeah, Mike, I'll make sure, uh, and actually Vic's always great at that. We will make sure we go in great detail um, at the end of the live stream for that for you guys. This is this is kind of like, you know, we have March Madness with the Hoops Tournament. Yeah. This is almost like, you know, March Madness with tournaments going on during March and then just the upcoming months with information coming out. It's kind of tournament madness here at the reserve, which is good. So, oh, here we go. Ace King suited for a mod, and he's due for a big hand. He's going to make the call here. And Corey's got a cheering section right now. <laughs> oh, he's smiling, man. I'm always smiling. He's just smiling. Brian Sterling <laughs> from Fairborn, or Fairborn, Ohio. Rooting for Corey, a.k.a. Spider. Well, he just happened to uh, click on during a big hand here. And we got a couple of jacks with a three here. And a check all the way around, free card. The ace high is good right now. That was a great card for Corey. Because now he's chopping with the mod. A lot of live cards out there that I could take it. And X Man's th saying I got 3K in front of me. Yeah. Why not bet 175? Why not bet 175? Absolutely. And this is uh, Big Stack Poker at its finest. Let's just see what happens. And we could see the cards, and hindsight is 2020. But Corey, probably uh, in position there with the pre flop raise, missed an opportunity for a continuation bet probably wouldn't have seen the turn card and had we seen the turn card probably would have just been heads up yeah. and mr x takes down another one i'm gonna start yeah. calling him mr x put a mr in front of that x man name yeah with uh the run he's having nope, over 3k and a 500 hundred dollar max buy-in once again just a few moments ago at 8 30 p.m guys we start at 6 15 at 8.30, players are allowed to top off or buy in for $1,000. That way, if some players are stuck, they get the option. So, just a new caveat in here. And chosen one, if you get a chance at the conclusion of this hand, put the V-pip up. If you could keep it up there a little bit, I'm going to do the math here on the uh, total chips here on the table because uh, this started out 10-handed at $500 a piece, and uh, there's a lot more than 5000 on the table right oh, yeah. now. We're way above that. Shimmy now, look at that. Ace-King suited in spades. Bumps it up to 70. <laughs> MGM Bob comes along, Levine and Colonel. Four players going to the flop. 995 on the board. Shimmy still ahead with this ace king. And here we go, talking about a continuation bet. In position, Shimmy's going to do just that. 140 is the bet. And a good opportunity here for him to take this pot down is really nobody's got any part of this. And 
and that's the aggression that pays off. Yeah, nice hand by Shimmy. Got some value pre-flop with three callers coming along. There's Marissa walking out of the room. That's who you got to get a hold of if you want to play on this Saturday for our Saturday night 1-3 live stream. No limit. $500 max buy-in. Regular Joe Poker Show. Nick, who you see right now in the box, will be joining me in the booth. We'll be calling all the action for a four-hour live stream. Then Tuesday night, our 5-5-10 No Limit Hold'em Cash Game, $1,000 to $2,000 buy-in. Lots and lots of action. And a guest coming in, your very own, our very own, Concrete Dave, joining Dom here in the booth. It's going to be a special night. Yeah, no, it should be a fun time. So not too often, we, especially we get some uh, one of our players that uh, is, is a good player on here, but also nice personality too. Looking forward to it. Good blend. Should be a fun day, Concrete Dave. So the X-Man with Ace-King had raised to 35. Imad called. Now Levine, three bets this. He's basically putting them all in. To yeah. 155. If I have 3K with a loose player, raise yeah. me like that with Ace-King. If you got me, you got me. But I'm going to put it. Just get it in right now. I don't blame him. Yeah, he made it 4.35 to go. And this is where, and I'm not a proponent of it, I'm not smart enough to play that kind of range that the X-Man has played, but they've he has seen the kind of range that X-Man has played. And you see when he makes those bets, though, he showed Ace-King a few times on this live stream, though, with that specific play for betting. You know, he's three bet lightly at times. Phil. Yeah. But the four bet, it, it kind of gets a little serious there. I haven't seen him get out of line any time he's four bet. I think that's the second time he's four bet and the second time he's had ace king. Even MGM Bob was asking him ace king. And because uh, Richard is so special to us here, our security guard, I want to do this shout-out again to his daughter, Nisi, and soon-to-be son-in-law, Jaden, getting married this Saturday. I wish you all the best. Oh, I was uh, informed from Brent. He asked if he had aces or kings, not ace-king. Well, either way, those are. Uh, he, he, Bob was on to him. Pretty much, you know, premier hand right there. Uh, Dave, please don't bring any gums. <laughs> we actually we have gum, big shakes, the caster. We have uh, ice breakers, ice cubes, peppermint. Dave, back here, buddy. And that's really just uh, me being um, courteous and knocking the coffee off of my. Fair enough. My breath from time to time. I like to take good care of my uh, I've never had partner uh, here. Never had uh, bad vibes from, uh, I will say this. Five-handed here. Vic, I've never gotten that vibe from you having bad breath, so you've done a good job. Oh, try to stay ahead of it. Hey, hey X, Mr. X, I'm sorry, Mr. X. Yes. With the king high flush draw on a four jack deuce board. A couple of clubs. But then we got Shimmy, <laughs> top, top, top pair, top kicker. Also holds the ace of clubs in his hand, so he has to like that. In case it does peel on the turn, he would have some outs still, and he's going to bump it up. And we're playing a real hand now. And these are two players with big stacks at the table. Arguably the two biggest stacks. Yes. Shimmy around 2,500. Mr. X at 3,500. And there's a call from... Mr. X, X-Man. If we get a club here. Oh, oh, a second jack. Shimmy. With three of a kind. 
There's a check. And again, Shimmy, one of those players that pays close attention, even when he's not in the hand. He knows that if he uh, makes it too easy. I like this bet sizing. I do times. like this bet sizing. I thought he was going to go a little bit bigger, which is why I was uh, doing that preamble there. But Well, the fact that he has the ace of clubs in his hand, I think he's going a little bit more for value if he didn't have a club with his jack. Might raise a little bit more. And now the 10 hits. 7.96 in the middle. And just imagine if a two of clubs comes. I'm curious to see if he's going to make a stab with King High oh, here. Oh, the river has come. I'm sorry. It's a 10. Yeah, this is interesting because you've seen him be aggressive throughout the day. Wow. And that's a good size bet there, around 500. Might be an even 500. 575, the shimmy. Surprise of Shimmy. 1400 in the middle. Maybe he raises it up to 12. Does he 3 axis? Just maybe under like 1200 total. Mr. Flush. Oh, yep, called it. Very big hand here for Shimmy now. A $1,000 profit. This now makes him the uh, chip leader at tonight's table. Chosen one if you get a chance, and you can put the VPIP up there. Also long enough for me to do some math, because we've got some serious money here at the table. Yeah, and, and oh, the, the cash isn't there. Sorry. Oh, no, that bet right there, Vic, yeah. leading now. I think the reason why Shimmy didn't re-raise with the ace-jack, it's two things. He pretty much, in his head, had his mind made up. It was either two hands. Either he had a boat. Which is obviously bad news for you. Yeah. Maybe Jack Ten, or, or he had a flopped a set and turned a boat, or he had he even said miss flush draw, and you're yeah. and you're not getting any more money out of the situation. So that's why there's the smooth call. Most likely, I think he was 90% sure he was ahead, but just so in case, he wasn't getting any more money. Looks like we're at about uh, 12, 13,000. I did that really quickly, by the way. Thanks again, chosen one. Appreciate that for that information. The point is, which we really don't have to overemphasize, is just how big this game is playing here tonight. No. And now Shimmy's up to 3,500. And he's in for his original 500, I believe, so he's about 3K ahead. And he picks up his hand, the Shimmy. 10 8 suited. Mod with the cousin of the Shimmy, 10 7 suited. Pumps it up. Ship it. Uh, you you brought up a really good question because uh, I thought the same thing when uh, Xavier put that bet out. I thought, what can he be representing here? Nevertheless, Shimmy did make the call, and now Shimmy has what uh, Toledoans call the Shimmy. Ten eight. Does it have to be suited to be called the shimmy? No, he okay. even said it, it, it's overrated that you have to think it has to be suited to play. He's been very firm on that. He says it's a powerful hand either way. Yeah, it, there is not a chance he's folding for that with 3,500 in front of him in a 1-3 game, especially after he ships a big pot. And look at that. Both players flop two pair, 10-8-7. <laughs> <eight>, <laughs> And this is just a mod's been running horrible. Tonight. It just really and, and has. And I don't even want to say bad. I want to say horrible. Yeah. He's been running horrible, not playing horrible. Right. Running horrible. It's been a tough like right night. Right here, normally you're supposed to double up off the sand on an over yeah. pair. You're supposed to double up, double up on an over pair. And Shimmy's got the goods, and he's going to put them all in. So just two outs here for Imad. Yeah. He has just uh, run into it full face tonight here. Always got the shot. Love that hand. The shimmy always got the shot. 
And yeah, he mod two outs needed. And there's a five and an ace, and she was going to hold and bring in more money. He's up to 4,100 now. The heater continues. That's just a mod just get incredibly unlucky. Yeah, we're not going as wild as the uh, live chat. Yeah, the chat I mean, is going this, wild. The chat is going wild, and uh, we appreciate it. Can we say but it's, it's a no-knit chat? It's worth... <laughs> it's a no-knit so, chat. So you cannot be on the chat if you're a knit. You cannot uh, yeah. come to the... You, you have to be prepared to uh, contribute and contribute in a big way. Just like uh, Dr. Boring, Neil Brinkman. Yeah, MRH. Is MRH. Out there. Brent's out there. We got Anthony Payne in the house. Kiwi Colleen, really. Carl. Showing up tonight here on the chat. Shippets out there. Let me look, scroll through here. Concrete Dave. Obviously, Mr. Coffee. Kiwi, of course, from New Zealand. Marty Ball. Yeah. We got Mr. Pittsburgh. Mom out there. Mike is out there. Mike C. Got Hollywood out there. Hollywood, uh, tell the OP we say hello, by the way. Oh, yes. Him? Please. Not only just Dom and I, but everybody here at the reserve. Let the OP know. We love him and we miss him. Imad's going to raise up here to 60. Ace Queen, but Ace Queen Levine, and now a three bet to 155. <laughs> and Ammo, tough night here tonight. Just not getting much going here. Wondering if this is the hand that'll get him going. King Ten of Diamonds. What a great game tonight. It is a pleasure calling this action. No kidding. And this is kind of what I thought Ammo was thinking about is, do I make this call and then have to deal with an all-in from Imad, who has not been running well tonight? If he knew what he was in right now, getting three the one, I think he would snap. He's yes. now wondering, am I going against ace-king, ace-ten? A, a pocket pair? Right. But if you know you're live right now getting this price and you've been card dead, you won't hate this situation. I did anyway, exactly. There's live, and then there's King Ten of Diamonds live. That's yeah, suited too. Looks nice with the diamonds. Chris Christine says, "Shout out to Shimmy with the best hair tonight." And you want to know what Shimmy's with the beard game? I'm, I'm the beard game is strong with the hair. Got to give give kudos to that. Most of the tail rocking a hat. Yeah. There's Tarantula Nick, too, in the box. Doing it all. Commentary. Dealing. Playing poker when he can, too, on the line. Yeah. And of many Rep hats. He represents well. Young Patrick got a haircut. So. Yeah, he was really going to kick himself uh, if he folded this and then saw these cards coming out. We're going to have a side pot here. 2100 in the middle. Nick, very experienced in this, doing a great job. Make sure that we get the pots right. Are pots we, as in plural. Are we getting more hands over 1,000 in this 1-3 game? Consistently, I'm saying. We, we, there's bigger ones on Tuesdays because there's more money on the table, but consistently, like 1,500, the 2,500. This is this is crazy. And we got a 10 right in the window fall with a couple of jacks. And right now, Ammo smacking the flop with two pair. That's a great card for him. 
Here comes the river. Needs to fade a high one, and he does. And wow. He triples up. And just like that, slow night for ammo. One hand turns it all around. 100%. 100%. And ammo's got some fans out there, his family, mother and father, relatives watching here tonight. And it had to have been hard for the first uh, almost three hours here to watch the uh, the cards that he had and he wasn't getting. And then suddenly it turns around just like that. Dwayne G on the message board says, Cody winning WrestleMania, Dom? I think so. And then everyone's just basically going off on the hand right now. Thanks for everyone being active. Well, yeah, congrats to Ammo. Up to 76 likes, too. We're getting close to 100. Smash that thumbs up, guys. We just need a few more here. We got Aunt Sandy in here. Aunt Sandy is watching. And if Aunt Sandy's watching, better not disappoint. Extra pressure. I don't wow. know. I can't Luis. help myself. I'm going to put some hearts yeah. out there. Buddha in behind him with King 10 also. <clears throat> Colonel with sixes. I think for $50, that's a discount. You got to see any pair for 50 bucks at this table. One of the other sixes is in Levine's hand, 6 4. And He's making the call. He's not going anywhere. Mr. X now. And another six. So we know where all of those are. Sharon is carrying. Oh, the cousin of 10-8. Let's see if Shimmy plays it. Just needs 40 to complete here. Yeah, he's got a little discount there. Got like a deal. Vic, you know I love deals. <laughs> well, yeah, and you know what I like? Seven this handed. A, seven players going round. to the flop here. special. 354 in the pot. Here it is. And 996. Nine, and I'll tell you what, if you have pocket sixes, that's about the best case scenario when both players, or two other players. 993. Nine, yep. Or 993. Nine, I was just talking about thinking sixes in my mind. Yeah. Two pair for Colonel. Free card. Everybody's still in. And the king gets there for Buddha. Club draws out there, but no one has it. Buddha's got to know he's good here. Puts a bet out at 175. Yeah, Colonel's going to have to fold this one. You can't check the flop and then call this. Missed a bet. And he looks like he knows it. Yeah, I mean... I mean I, granted, someone could come over the top and you fold, but if you're seven handed with sixes, yeah, I mean, but yeah, nine nine three. If you're not going to hit a seven, yeah. that's about as good as it's going to get. Right. I'm easy to read, man. Whatever you think I got, ninety percent likely. That's what I got. ABC poker, man. You got Wild Bill on the message board too now. All the way from Perrysburg, tuning in. By the way, speaking of that, since we got <laughs> Wild Bill all the way from Perrysburg tuning in, let us know where you guys are tuning in from tonight. So oh, yes. Out of state, Please. out of the country. We, we love, that's one of our favorite moments. I know me and Vic get excited to hear these. All right, Buddha. Back to the game. <laughs> Buddha sometimes uh, has some monk in him, right? <laughs> He does. <laughs> he does, though. I don't know where you got that from, but he really does. Yeah. Things got to be just, just right. <laughs> uh, 
Ammo. Ammo now. I, actually, for the cards that he's been getting, this is almost like aces. Seeing pocket nines. And look at the shape he's in right now, Vic. All those low cards out there. It looks like we have an all-in. Yeah, we have an all-in situation here. Oh, pocket aces. Not only has 150 in front of him, though, after that beat. And if I'm a mod, the one person I don't want to see calling is X-Man. Yeah, he's been running pure. He's just been running so well here tonight. Oh, boy. And he does make the call. 6-4 of hearts. We do have a side pot here. And we have a queen, seven, three board, couple of diamonds. And mod is still safe. Yeah, X-Man does have a gutter. Like I said, he's been running good. Ammo's going to see if he can get some more money into this side pot. Yeah, I'm sure he won't even mind taking the side pot, side pot down, getting a little rebate, keeping it safe. And he calls with the gutter. Oh, close but no cigar. Yep. Blank on the turn. Mod not knowing just far far ahead he is right now. So Got to be a little nervous seeing all of this action coming from ammo. An X man basically just with a gut shot here, and we have side pot. Wow, significantly bigger than the main pot at this point. This is crazy. 2,100 in the middle. I almost wonder if it's a mystery. Oh, look oh. at the nine. Is it mod just... This is one of the worst run jobs I've seen. I can't believe how unlucky this gentleman's getting over and over again. Did, like, ammo checks this. And he's playing like he's got the flush. This time, oh my goodness! Wow, huge pot here for ammo. Wow, 3,900. <coughs> Mr. X is going for a pure bluff. And that's going to be it for Ahmad, Ahmad here tonight. And yeah, he he played good. He, he played well. He just he, it just man, it just kept getting. That ace is getting cracked there was pretty much the definition of what was happening to him Just all night kept long. kept walking right into buzzsaw after buzzsaw but after buzzsaw. Ammo. Talk about Mr. X. Yeah. Having some pretty big cojones right there with the bluff. That would have been one of the plays of the night. Really try to represent that flush that hit on the river there. But then uh, got caught. And that nine really probably may have saved Ammo. Hitting that set because the bet amount that X Man, if he didn't hit that set, yeah, I think representing that flush, he would have gotten the side pot with six high. So I know some players are like saying punt, punt, punt. Yeah, but let's turn the table here. Right. If he didn't hit three of a kind on the river, yeah, and if he would have done that, I'm pretty sure he was making that play if a diamond was coming, any diamond. I think that six high bluff would have worked for the side pot, and he'd have gotten his money back plus some there. 
with what was built there nicely. So I don't really... You got to give him credit where credit's due. I thought it was yeah. a good attempt. And by the way, Ammo, he, he deserves a little run good. He's been pretty patient tonight. He's been very patient. And he's been pretty card dead, and he's been playing well. But, yeah, you're allowed to get a little run good now and then. And now he's got a mound of chips next to him. Over four grand. Yeah. Top of the hour in a dealer change, which means we are doing a bomb pot here. And being eight-handed, we are going to see a double board bomb pot. Everybody in for 10 bucks. Everybody's going to get four cards. Eddie in the box. We want to thank everybody for checking in because I think I saw South Carolina. I think that was Florida, Bay City, Michigan. Yeah, and we got Iowa, New Zealand, Indian Rocks, Florida. Yeah, going back to that hand, though, real quick. Yeah. That we, we, and by the way, I know we have a bomb pot going on, but not too often on this live stream on Thursday nights we see a 4K pot. I know that on the message board you're going to get some comments about punt this, punt that, or, you know, what's going on and everything. I thought that was one of the most well-played poker hands of a no-knit Thursday. You watch this show for players not to play tight. You're right. You see a gentleman literally make a great bluff attempt, I thought, at that pot. And a, a player hit a set on the river that, that is either going to pay off a flush or catch a play like that. But credit to all those players there from – opening up and kind of getting creative yeah not playing in the box and going for the money in the middle that was a highly actioned hand and it was a pleasure to call and watch but mgm bob now has a uh, flush draw on the bottom and queens on the top and I he bets Buddha. 60 and um Buddha bottom set with a flush draw too yeah buddha has got a little something something ruined but really the colonel isn't it almost correct that Buddha and MGM have a monster on one and they could outdraw the other one? Yes. Poetic justice. Oh, here's a full house. Oh now. boy. Full house for Buddha. And MGM MGM Bob has a full house. Yeah, he's got a full house. Take that back. I did not see that seven dangler folks. Sorry. I didn't either. That. Yeah. I was looking at the, the flush draw and then yep. not. so MGM Bob was not getting drawed on unless a colonel hit a ace. But now Buddha. Good three, Eddie. Can you read the talk, show me? You can't say that you're saying. 59.53? No, that's all right. 39.53? Do you count? Yeah, we're less on the Bill of Yeah, you count up. You got a mount? 14. Mm -hmm. Big hand brewing here. It looks like the Colonel's not giving up. MG and Bob's in great shape. And he improves. He is queens full of nine, so he could pot this and take it down right now. And MGM Bob's going to win a nice big bomb pot here. He's going to profit 450. So he does. All right, so back to no limit hold them here. At the Reserve Poker Club in Toledo, Ohio, this is a 1-3 No Limit Hold'em cash game, $500 buy-in, but we've got 12, 13,000 at least on the table right now. We are now eight-handed starting the night with 10-handed. Huge game. And it's just been a very big game to Dom's point. We are going till 11:15 uh, tonight, five-hour live stream. Next live stream on Saturday night, four-hour live stream. And it'll be uh, 
Tarantula Nick and myself here in the booth. Mixing things up a little bit Tuesday night then. Dominic's going to be in here with Concrete Dave. Calling the shots for our 5-5-10 No Limit Hold'em cash game. Couple hours left to go, but I know we can get quickly to a hundred likes. We just need 16 more. We're at four players now with this flop coming out from Eddie. We've got King 6-8, and then it is a rainbow. Corey with his jacks now behind the Colonel with his King 10. And Colonel's gonna bet this. A call with the pocket threes. X-Man hoping for a little magic here. Corey with jacks. Corey it's gets out of the way, out of the way so heads up. And now the board pairs. Wow. And the X-Man. I mean, can Colonel pick up? He might be tilting a little bit. And and he calls. And a call. And just one out here for the X-Man. $1,700 pot. Yeah, I... Colonel's normally a player that... That's about the bottom of Colonel's range right there. Yes. King 10 in that spot. It's not a player normally you want to try to bluff. That really is probably like the worst hand you could put Colonel on. And Colonel doubles up. And the X-Man, quite a swing here. It's going to dip to the well and get some uh, more chips. Changes were made to this game over the last couple of weeks where uh, after 8.30, you can um, up up to 1,000. Up to 1,000. Yeah, the game's just getting so deep. It Tuesdays, you can match the stack if you get felted. Yeah, it's a 500 max till 8.30, and it goes up to 1,000. I got to get home. Bring him a rack. I'm going to walk you out, too. You're a gentleman. I really am. Neil, I'm going to go tell him you said that right now. Picking on Nick. Yeah, ship it. <laughs> I can't argue. I can argue. Cannot argue that point with you. I Is that almost like a Bill Buckner? Bill what Buckner? we saw here with the. Uh, is that kicking the ball? Yeah, uh, when you're close to taking home a big prize? <coughs> it, it's, yeah. I'm sorry if you don't get that reference. 
That one might be a little over my head. I'm sh well, uh, no, not over your head. I'm just showing my age. There are certainly... Uh, Say what? And now we've got another situation. Levine betting into Buddha. And this is not a good card here for Levine. Picks up a queen. And they go check, check to a free card and a brick. And they take it all the way to showdown. Yeah, Buddha's going to take that. 563 and profit. A profit of 563. And that seems like kind of like the regular. You're, I mean, uh, it's almost like a small profit in a, this 1-3 game. is like 250 bucks. But we want to give a shout-out to Tenley for tuning in. Marty Ball, uh, Tenley's father, Ken, if he's tuning in. Always love when Ken can watch the show. One of the poker legends in the area of Toledo. So, Grumpy, just to summarize here, since you're just joining us, this is a 1-3 uh, No Limit Hold'em cash game, $500 buy-in, 10-handed, with a lineup that you might normally see on a Tuesday night. And so the action has been way beyond uh, what we might typically see in a 1-3 game. Certainly not playing that way. And there have been, as you can see, in front of Shimmy. Uh, there have been a couple, and in front of... Uh, uh, ammo. There have been a couple of players benefiting big time from some aggressive play and also just some bad luck. So now we are eight-handed. We've got uh, less than two hours to go. And the way we have seen this action not really uh, slow down or take any turn and we're going to see some, some more chips exchanging hands here before we're done. Ammo now, Corey, Jack 10, and Ammo now, 4,300. I believe he's into the game for 1,000, but still, so far, a good night in pocket eights. And he's going to raise it up to 40. Colonel going to come along with the Queen Jack. Uh, Colonel, you got to pay attention. This is a visual game. There has been a raise, and he makes the call. And uh, for these of you who weren't, weren't uh, watching earlier, and I mentioned that uh, the Colonel took down a seniors event last night in Cleveland for a nice payday. And now the nemesis on the board, giving both Colonel and Corey a jack, a pair of jacks, but Colonel with the best of it. And they're going to check it around for a free card. Colonel in the lead here, bets out 100. Levine coming along now with his open-ended. The seven helped him on this turn. Corey trying to figure out if he wants to stick around with second pair and a 10 kicker. Oh, four on the turn. There we go. At first I thought it hit. Colonel now with just mid pair though, and you got a hyper aggressive player with Levine. And Jack with the queen. Again, a 1 3 game, a very mild hand here, but still taking down a $200 profit. Vega just keeps getting. Ramped up and up the expectation. You're thinking, oh, it's not going to be as big as last week. I oh, it's not going to be. And then it keeps just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. Now, granted, we've lost a couple of players here tonight. Um, so we are down to eight-handed. 
it's possible that the action isn't going to be as strong in the last two hours as it was in the first three hours. But what a game it has been. Do you really think that, though, Vic? No, with I don't. Your, with your... <laughs> just just some uh, speculation on, uh, on odds and numbers here. Especially with your power hour coming up in an hour. It's, uh, I mean, yeah, not too far all away. Variables. 45 minutes away, we start the power hour. Two players now with an ace. Corey with the best of it. But two clubs there. The X Man with the uh, what we call the Moose, and it's suited. We got action. And Levine going to push all in with his remaining. Oh, my goodness. Just like that. Yeah, you just snap your fingers and it's over. Just a like that. And all three players have all of their chips here in the middle. Hello, hello. This is like Celebrity Deathmatch of poker from the 90s. Three players all in. Levine and Corey, both with an ace. Mr. X with the flush draw. Levine's actually probably going to be hoping for that flush to hit. He doesn't know it yet. <coughs> Would give him a lot more outs on the river. Yep, Corey's looking to dodge. This is a big one. 1,300 in the middle. Well, you got another one. I do. Nice job, Eddie. Thank you for that view. Appreciate it. Pots are right. He's got everything ready. Everybody's on the edge of their seat. And here comes the turn. The board pairs. And Corey. And actually, Levine ends up chopping it with aces and kings. Yep, with ace. a queen kicker. And Corey's got to be wondering what is going on. He, uh, he's, and he, uh, that expression says it all. Shaking his head like, what is going How on? How can I just. Yeah. It's just been that kind of night here for Corey tonight. Yeah. Flops the full house, gets counterfeited. It actually doesn't get counterfeited. Loses the hand with a third seven coming earlier when he earlier the fives. Yeah. Yep. And now he's got ace nine and runner runner king queen. Yeah, MRH, we saw X-Man choose, I think, uh, at least three hands where he got aggressive just at the wrong time. Well, this last hand against uh, I, I against the Colonel. I think the Colonel was the only misplay he had. I don't mind that right there. You're getting three to one on the flush draw. He's trying to get it back. He, he, he whiffed. He missed. No big deal. The the flop he had, like we explained, you know, the guy hit a set. But the one with the Colonel that you just mentioned, Vic, that was one, you know, just he's played at that table. Colonel and Buddha are kind of like the two players. If they're in the hand, you pretty much know. Like I said, that was... The bottom of his range, top pair with a ten kicker. Well, with with Shimmy's hand uh, playing against Shimmy, uh, he was trying to represent something that wasn't there. No, I, mean, I forgot about that one. Yeah, that that definitely yeah, that, that one too was uh, as the dude would say. That's unchecked aggression right there. And here we go, Jacks, eights, ace, ten. That was a Big Lebowski reference. And by the way, great movie. Big Lebowski, <laughs> one of the best. <laughs> Cult favorite on the movie world. My daughter, Carolyn, would probably say, Dad, if you have to explain those things, then. No, no, no. Big Lebowski, I got that. <laughs> That's right in my wheelhouse, Vic. I had the DVD. One ninety.
Well, and here again, pushing chips in against a couple of big hands here. Ammo, pocket jacks, and a big stack. Well, sometimes patience is a virtue, and he was card dead for the first few hours, but he's and got ammo a with two yeah with ammo with two players behind him. Does he just call? Nope, he's going to isolate. He's going to raise this up, try to get the other two to fold. Yeah, so Shimmy, far, Shimmy folds. Yeah, he was shaking his head. He didn't want to let go of the eights, but he knew. As much as I love that hand, probably no good there. Yep, isolates. Does a good job. Got the eights to fold. Got the ace ten to fold. Nice job, Eddie. Oh, man, I just, yeah, he's got the concrete Dave's hand, the cement mixer. This, it has a name for a reason. And it's go a nine in the window, followed with a six and a five. Close. Jack's still in the lead. Oh, oh my nine. goodness. The cement mixer as of right now strikes again. One card still to go. Wow. <laughs> oh, quads. Quads. Oh, my goodness. Quads, the cement mixer getting there. Wow, the, the, the cement mixer, the legend grows. The legend cement mixer grows. I'll tell you what, what Concrete Davis started on that yeah. end. And uh, DFG, we did have that conversation earlier about announcing the power hour. Uh, adjustments have been made. I almost want to go out there and be like, does he want to have a second chance? Does he want to come in here? But I know he probably won't do it. And DFG, this has just been a crazy night here. Tuesday, 1-3, I mean Thursday, 1-3, No Limit Hold'em, $500 buy-in. We're now probably $14,000 on the table. The action has just been crazy. And just look around the table, you can see that uh, ammo in seat uh, 7 there, seat 6, excuse me, really the story for him was just sitting around being patient trying to find things to play got felted re-upped and now he's up over four grand shimmy being the benefactor of a couple of really big hands not playing many hands but a couple of really big hands and so now we're back up to nine handed and it looks like we have a double straddle in play Shivy just really has no excuse not to try to get the game bigger. It's already the biggest probably no-knit Thursday game arguably we've had. It's in the top five. We'll say that's a lock. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, why not? Let's double straddle. Colonel now with the shimmy when shimmy double straddles. It always seems right, right, Colonel? He's at the 2K having a nice night over there. MGM. Mr. X gets out of the way over the quarry. Ammo with a clean diaper. And Shimmy checks. We're going to have four players now going to the flop. We have a 5-10 queen board, rainbow flop, and the shimmy 10-8 is the best hand currently. Colonel's going to bet out 75. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this game's easy, yeah. huh? Yeah. 
making up shit. Fuck <laughs> you, you ain't gonna be fine. What's the spell my brain is? DFG Shimmy is playing hands. Hey, hey, uh, Tyler, if you want to put that V pip up, if you can, real quick. We've had a couple uh, people. Yeah, there it is. Thanks, brother. So there it is right there. Yeah, Shimmy's at 32%. He's tied for third right now. Levine at 50%. Mr. X at 48 As you see, every person that's playing at the table right now is 25% or higher. So pretty much they're playing one out of every four hands or more. So this is an active table for everyone. No one's actually... Playing like a nit tonight. And you're familiar with the nickname, but we got Jam and Jay sitting down at the table. Well, I've known for quite some time. I'm rocking that Jam and Jay alias. Welcome to the table, good sir. Great guy. Corey now picking up ladies. It's ladies night. 326. 326 to go. That down Over the ammo. Shimmy no. A lot of aces out there. Every dollar matters, man. <laughs> now MGM Bob with ace 10. I don't think he likes this price. Two players still behind him. Levine out of the way. Over the Mr. X. And he's all in. I mean, we saw it. Levine and MGM both have aces. We got a eleven hundred dollar pot with an all in. Corey made it three twenty six. Mr. X raised it up. And a ten right in the window, followed with a jack and a five. Corey still heavy favorite, and there's a six of diamonds. Mr. X will need a ace or ten. <laughs> And it stays clean. And Corey getting a little surge here. Big sigh of relief there from Corey. Yeah, finally gets one to go through for him when he's been ahead. And in the main room tonight, we had the uh, satellite for our anniversary series main event. That's a $260 buy-in. With uh, six day ones on April 25th, culminating in the uh, day two on April 28th. And tonight we are down to 17 players, and six players will be taking a voucher home tonight for that main event starting on April 25th. We will have another satellite next Thursday and the Thursday after that, but. What we've seen in these big tournaments is adding satellites. Right now, you can count on Thursday night being satellite night. But stay tuned. Be sure to go to the reservepoker.com and stay updated. Because I, I suspect that we'll be adding, adding some satellites for that uh, big $250,000 prize pool guarantee. Jacks for Colonel bumps it up to 85. Levine in there with the deuces, the mighty ducks hand. Shimmy with eights again. He's gonna give it a second try. He had to fold it earlier. Now Buddha with Queen Nine suited. He's 
get a nice price here for the pot size. He's going to take a look. Four players now, 341 in the middle. And we have a 4 9 10 board. Jax for Colonel still in the lead. Buddha does get a piece of it. Bet from the Colonel. Taking care of some color ups here. And he folds, and Colonel's going to take that one down. I nice sent Colonel. And Colonel's having a nice night, Vic. Tyler, can you put the chip stack amounts up real quick, buddy? We had. A couple of players bust. A couple of players really vault up in, in their chips. I'm kind of curious to see where the stacks lie right now. But this is... We are eight-handed currently. And there's a lot of money on this table. It really almost looks like a 510 table. I mean, you're seeing 500 chips out there. Yeah. There's one in front of Shimmy. Black chips, green chips. Just mounds and mounds. Of money being played here at the reserve in Toledo, Ohio. Next live stream is going to be Saturday night, also in Toledo, Ohio. The UT Lady Rockets playing out in Washington. Halftime update: Lady Rockets up 34 to 30 against Washington State. Yeah, I got rid of two of them. Thirty five is the race from Levine. Seven six suited in diamonds and Colonel. Waking up with some hands. Ace King now. Call from Levine. Takes it down. Nice hand, Colonel. ABC poker right there. Double straddle from Levine. Mr. X back in the saddle. King Queen makes the call. Jam and Jade lets it go. A couple more folds with ammo and shimmy getting out of the way. Got a 6 4 jack board, <coughs> bottom pair, and now a third club comes out there. Neither player with the flush draw. Okay. 
And another standard hand right there. Politeness. Nothing too crazy. Not used to seeing that tonight. Looks like they're almost playing nice. And we hit 100 likes. Thanks, everybody. Actually, at 101. Yeah, thank you very much. Kyle, thanks for the kind words. Conan in the house, too. Motor City in here. Mr. D, always a pleasure, sir. I was rocking my Motor City hat the other day, Mr. D, just to let you know. I was running some errands. Shimmy bumping up to 70 with 8-6 suited in hearts. Colonel coming along for the ride with the ladies. Just smooth calling. Playing a little disguise, but that could get a little risky at this table. The more players come in, the more you don't have to twist anyone's arm to see a flop in this game if it's under 120. Three players going to the flop, 243 in the middle. And we got a 10 ace 10 board. An X man. Mr. X out flops the Queens. And he's playing a little disguise game here. Checking it over. Shimmy reaching for the goods. And he's going to bet 150 in this pot. Who was the big winner? Spread out. Mr. X makes the call. Heads up, going to the turn. 5.43 in the middle. And oh, the queen. <laughs> the queen hits. Yeah, the queen hits for Colonel. And yeah, he folded the ladies. But it boated. I don't blame him, though. I mean, he was behind when the bet was made. Oh, well, there you go. Great yeah. fold by Colonel. Turns out to be a very good fold. If I if I was X Man, I would make this big. Even though it doesn't matter, we could see Shimmy's cards. I'm just curious how he's gonna attack his opposition moving forward. Oh. Oh. Oh, Shimmy put on the bluff and shoes. Oh my goodness. Shimmy now picks the wrong time. Yeah. And there's a I think he put him shift all in. for the X Man. Yeah. Well, big I mean, shift. I think that's more a table image and how he's been playing. Yeah. And that's why I was kind of curious if he was going to bet big, uh, just to see that would happen. But it turned out to be a blessing for him. And Otis, welcome to the chat. And yes, uh, this has been one heck of a night for a Thursday night. One three game. Seems silly to even call it out that way because it has not played like a 1-3 game no. at all. This has been playing like a 5-10 game. Not just me. 5-10-10. 5-5-10. Yeah, it's been, it's been crazy. But, yeah, sometimes your table image gets you paid off, and that's what happened to Mr. X right there. You got paid off. Any other dime that you know, $900 river with a plus I know I'm calling he actually considered folding, even though he hit a set because of the diamond. Yeah, he considered it for like three seconds. Well, it was a consideration. No, it wasn't. He didn't like it. No. He, he, he looked down and he goes, But Levine, top pair, also with a diamond draw. X-Man, top pair with an ace kicker. We've still got three players going to the turn and a king of hearts. X-Man in the lead right now. Yeah, this could be a big hand alert here, depending on this river. Colonel checks it. 
Levine bets. X Man snap calls. We started that back in like November, remember? We did Toys for Tots first. Yeah. And then we said, we we to the the And then we even alternated at Christmas time, remember? Mm -hmm. Toys for Tots, Julie. Yeah. Uh, oh. And it doesn't matter to the players. Who gives no. a crap about another nickel? Yeah. No. At the end of the night, and there's the diamond. Both players hit the flush. Levine with the eight high. Colonel with the jack high. Colonel bets it. Yeah, Levine I, with the raise. We missed an add-on from Levine. He's got more in front of him. He just raised it up to 300. I said, this is a tough game to follow with the chips players. Yeah, big on. pot there for Colonel. $350 to the plus. Yeah. Kiwi Colleen's asking about uh, Buddha's T-shirt. Could you uh, expand on that again, please? Oh, it was... Oh, now, hold on. It was basically like... Oh, I, you know what? Now I'm having a. <laughs> oh, put me on the spot, and I folded right there, and, so I, and I had it. I had it for the first three hours of the show because he told me right got before a, the got show. Got a mushroom on it, and something about living large or living, basically like uh, living wild or basically, you know, I I'm not. It's not word for word, Kiwi Colleen, but the message basically is like, you know, pain is a part of life, but yes. suffering is a choice. That's it. And so, you know, no matter what in life, pain will come your way. But so if you suffer, that is your choice, basically your mindset, your outcome, how you handle things. Because uh, there's always hard times. But how you deal with those hard times, that's all up to you. Here we are, five-handed now. Here comes a flop from Paul. And we have a three, queen, ten board, couple of hearts. Corey with the ace-high flush draw. That one just stands right out. Two players hit their ten. Mr. X and MGM Bob. Here comes a free card. And there's the flush and also two pair for MGM. And now the Jack-10 also gets an open-ended straight draw with its pair, so that that's a pretty good action card right there. And uh, they're grumpy. I will answer that question after the sand. That's a good question. for Bob to call. 600 already in the pot. The computer knows that uh, a 9 and a 10 have already been uh, discarded and that there's a 9 and a 10 left. So really just two outs here for him. And he lays it down. Corey turns over the ace five of hearts. Gets rid of his chip. Yep. Nice hand, Corey. Yeah, and Grumpy was asking why deal the absent player in cash. Well, it's because, Grumpy, we are a no-rake room. And uh, those players, um, you know, it, it's time. Based they paid and, for their time. And so you are you're you get all your hands dealt to you. So it's not, you know, when you go to the casinos, they rake and uh, obviously they'll deal you out because of that situation. But different in card. Card rooms. But, yep, simple.
And I'll, I'll tell you what, MRH did a funny comment that said, can no one smooth call with the nuts anymore? I don't think there's been really much of any calling in this game, <laughs> Vic, tonight. We haven't seen a lot of just calls. Yeah. Maybe pre-flop if you want to see a flop, but after that, there's been a lot of raising, and I think it gets addictive when you see all the chips going around the table. It kind of almost changes your mind. Hey, I'm going to get paid off here. The greed comes in, which is a balance of every poker player's life. We have a queen, six, ace board, couple of clubs. Everyone whiffs. Yeah, Ammo's, oh, uh, Ammo, I think Ammo's picking up on that. Yeah, we did have a couple players hit bottom pair. When I say whiff, not a complete whiff, but nothing to get too excited about. No, and a uh, good position bet there from Ammo. And he takes that one down, and he's going to show so he can get rid of his yellow no knit chip. Yeah, MRH greed is real, and I think, you know, when you're playing poker and you're running good, in every asset of life, whether it's work, poker, you know, there's different things you got to battle. When you're sitting at the poker table, I think greed is a big one. You want to be greedy, but it's kind of like the saying when we say it, controlled aggression at the table. You want to control your greed. And there's those certain times where you have the mindset when you sit down and you're playing cards. And it seems like the nights that you're playing and you're just like, I just want to have fun, I want to relax, but I want to win, and I want to be competitive. But you don't have a number total. And you can control that greed and that aggression. Those seem like to be your best nights. And then, you know, you get in those ruts where you might have a tough night once in a while where you get hit, you get smacked, you get stuck. You come play again and you get in a little rut. I really think that's when the controlled aggression goes out the window. The greed gets a little bit bigger because you want to win it all back soon, you know. Those are the battles that I think every poker player goes on a normal basis. And uh, that's why I think it's so much, when you're happy in life, I think you're way better at the poker table when you have less stress. Good family base, um, good friend base, uh, things are good at work and whatnot. And don't get me wrong, we've all played poker to get our mind off tough times in life. And sometimes poker gives you peace when you're going through stress, but those really good runs... I think when everything else in your life is at balance, and you're not bringing it to the card table. Back I agree. Hand. Yeah. Well said. Colonel, by the way, picking a base queen. Well, we've got a straddle, restraddle, restraddle. Yeah, ninety dollars to go here. There's the straddle. Here's the restraddle, and here's the restraddle. Re restraddle. Oh, Buddha, playable hand here. Ace eight suited in diamonds. And he just needs fifty to complete, and he does. So heads up action here. Yeah, one ninety four in the middle. <coughs> Colonel doesn't miss the opportunity this time for a continuation bet. Buddha knows that Colonel does not take his pre-flop raises in early position very lightly. Because he doesn't have a king. It was a take it down bet. Take it down bet is what he says. In the world, in the words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, take it down, do it now, take it, <laughs> give the pot. There is no bathroom. And thirty dollars to go. Look at this. <coughs> Love the action. Double straddle, triple straddle. Going around the table.
It's not easy to bluff like you are. I can at times. Easy, Vic. <laughs> these guys deserve that, too. <laughs> oh, I love it when these guys go at it. Vic, if you were drinking milk, you'd have shot it through that your nose right there. That, yeah, it's absolutely. It makes everybody laugh, Bob. It's 10-9, followed by 10-9, and here comes Ace, Queen of Diamonds for ammo now. Yeah, like I said, I, he, the second half has been kind of And this was a... Uh, Straddle, restraddle to 30, so those are a couple of limpers. And Shimmy with sevens, too. We could see a big one here, folks. See how much ammo wants to punish these limpers. I'm really curious to see what happens pre-flop here with this raise with Shimmy with sevens. Does he try to raise it up to isolate one-on-one? -on -one? Is he just going to smooth call? He's not folding. I'd be shocked. Well, two of the players that have limped in so far really not being action players. We have sevens were kind of shimmy earlier today. Bob just called the clock on Buddha as Buddha expounds on another deep thought. So there's one ten nine going. One of the 10-9s going into the muck, and the other one sticks around, so we're three-handed. 450 in the middle, and we have a queen, jack, oh boy. six board, couple of hearts, and we got an open-ended straight draw from Corey, top, top from Ammo. from ammo like this bet sizing from them and he lets it go Sometimes you see that more with the straight draws than the flush draws out there. Nice $300 profit there. Yeah. Well, I am going to touch on what you just talked about because I'm going to make an online confession about my own journey in this game of poker. And I would say the when I first came to the game of uh, No Limit Hold'em and I had been playing poker all of my life since I was 10 years old with my grandparents, um, I just I once I started playing No Limit Hold'em, I just so much enjoyed it. However, um, I, I did not look at it with a very competitive eye. I did not have that, that instinct. Um, I, you know, and it's taken me some years, because I like this game so much, to change that mindset. Was it more um, of a social mindset? It was the social you? aspect. Yeah. I was brought up in a home where cards were just a daily thing. It was certainly on vacations, and it was to have a lot of fun and laughter. Uh, and uh, I don't think my parents ever instilled that in me. If I had played more poker with my grandmother, maybe that would have been the cha uh, change. But, no, it, it took me a while when I started this game. Did your grandma talk smack when she beat you? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, because grandma seemed to yeah. talk the most smack out of any family member if they're yeah. playing cards. My grandmother would offer you a cut, and if you didn't cut towards her, she would slap your wrist. Oh, jeez. Oh, peace. Yeah, she was, a, she was a tough old gal. Yeah, Here we are now, yeah. three-handed. MG and Bob with mid-pair with the gut shot to Broadway. Jam and Jay with top pair. Has the best of it right now. On the button, too. Mr. X leading out with six high. Smooth call from Jam and Jay. Heads up action now. Jam and Jay has a stranglehold on this one. And that's a check mark. As long as he doesn't fold, he's going to win this pot. Check. 200 from Jam and Jay. 
That's a fold. And uh, on our message board, by the way, Vic, I saw you take a picture. I just uh, Kiwi Colleen says, I'd like to say a very big thank you uh, to everyone for letting me join the Reserve Poker family. Well, yeah, we definitely have a good poker community here at Kiwi and all the way from New Zealand. We appreciate you very much. Motor City had a great question. How did you first find the live stream? And she said after a stroke, she was uh, struggling big time, uh, didn't own a TV, so she looked up uh, YouTube on, for movies, but came across the reserve and watched a couple of streams. And uh, Kiwi, I know you're a regular on here, and uh, you're always uh, going through some health issues, it seems, so far, but we always keep you in our prayers. And we, all of us in the, over here in America, across the United States, uh, from New Zealand, care about you a lot. And we always appreciate you on here. You always have a positive attitude. It seems like you love the game of poker. So I just wanted to give a sh special shout-out to Kiwi. Uh, you know, just... Um, care about you and hope for the best and everything and we're going to be right with you kiwi can't wait for you to get that hoodie and rock the live at the reserve all the way in new zealand at least 10 for shimmy i think he's looking at raising chips and there they are and now Buddha with the shimmy gets out of the way. I did that very first hand. There's only three of us. I reminded a guy and I ended up with two. X Man coming along with ten nine of diamonds. And now ammo suited ace, ace ten of spades. Ammo right now, our chip leader. Three way pot here. Everyone's sharing a 10. 505 in the middle. And we have a queen 7 6 board. Couple of clubs. I see a gut shot and I see a couple ace highs. I'm not going to say it until this hand's over. <laughs> Don't give me that look. <laughs> we got a, we got a six on the turn. Six on the turn, pairs the board. Should be still the lead with ace high. And Shimmy leading out. 450. Whoa! Oh boy. And here he's trying to do it again. He might have uh, finally picked a time, oh, and he wow. does. He gets Shimmy to fold. And it works this time. It folks. works this time. The bluff of the night. And a profit of 1100. So X Man. What a roller coaster story for this young man here tonight. Yeah, back up to 2,800 like Unbelievable. that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And what a way to start <laughs> the power hour. <laughs> Danielson coming in, dealer change. We have one hour to go. I don't know how the power hour stacks up to the last four hours. I don't know how it can happen. Well, what an intro. There, we have seen so many. Uh, <laughs> ranges, so many bet sizings, so many big hands. Tonight, Tuesday, has, Thursday has really just been one special 
Thursday night for us here at the reserve. And for us to expect the uh, power hour to live up to its name tonight, uh, the expectations are high right now, very high. So don't go anywhere. And with the lead out from Shimmy, looks so strong. And then yes. the bluff over the top, it just, wow. Live and die by the sword. He's been, you know, getting some scrutiny sometimes about some misplays. But at the same time, when it works, it works. And that takes some kahunas. Nice play. Yeah. Rex. Man. I don't know. Does that make your uh, top of the list so far for the play of the night? That might be. I mean, he really would have been two for two on his biggest bluffs if his set didn't get hit on the river. Yeah. And we got Kings versus Ace Jack here in top set for Buddha. <laughs> Buddha's. MGM, but jo Bob is pleading for a discount here because he's uh, got the yellow no knit chip left. But uh, Buddha's not having it, and there's a good reason why. Flopping a set of kings. Tosses it over the bob so he can see it close. Looks like we got the bomb pot time. Did Buddha just say you want to be mean? <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to go old school. Like, I'm talking riding bikes and hearing someone say, get bent, but mean it. Because when's the <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, everyone cusses everyone out on TV, you yeah. know, in movies and stuff. Yeah. If, if you're driving by and you get out of, like, you're going in the grocery store and someone cut you off, if yeah. they tell you, I, honestly, if someone says F off or something bad like that, you kind of rub it like a grain of salt. Yeah. I think if someone told you to get bent in a minute, you'd get, take more offense to it because <laughs> you haven't heard it in a while. What, did he just tell me to get bent? No one no one says that anymore. Well. Get bent. they got a funny story about that. Here we get through this uh, bomb pot. First act is Buddha, and he checks over to the colonel. Colonel checks. MGM Bob, and check all the way around, so a free card. And who's got the diamond or the uh, heart draw? Ammo's got king seven of hearts, and he's got a set of sevens on the top. And ammo plays a lot of PLO. I know that. And that can make a difference in these bomb pots rather than just playing bingo. And to the message board, since we do off-the-wall questions in a while, and it's been a few shows since we've had, I'm curious, if, if someone was mad at you in real life... Yeah. Would you get more offended if they cussed at you or if they told you and they meant it to get bent? Just because you haven't heard it in a while. Let us know. We'll check after the sand. And the flush does not come <laughs> from <laughs> for ammo. No. But this is going to be a uh, chop pot. As long as they stay together in this. Ammo and Levine chopping it up, each taking down a uh, $30 profit. One of the smaller bomb pots we've seen in a while. My mom passed away four years ago at the age of 98. What a wonderful woman. Her name was Betty, and everybody knew her as Grandma Betty. She was just so sweet, and uh, had she not been my f my mom, she probably would have been one of my best friends. Uh, but she was both my mom and one of my best friends. And um, she was always finding herself in some comical situations. And apparently in a parking lot, she pissed somebody off. She backed out at the wrong time or something. Of course, my mom had that 
kind of, you know, cotton candy kind of hair from the uh, salon. She went there every every week or every two weeks. And this guy yells out, hey, lady, you got blue hair. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. He, he was, Attack. He was trying to insult her, and my mom actually took her a whole day to try to figure out what he was trying to make reference to. <laughs> <laughs> she, she said at first she wasn't even sure he was talking to her. But yeah, you talk about uh, crazy uh, yell outs, crazy insults. Hey, lady, you got blue hair. <clears throat> that is definitely old school. Got some feedback on the message board. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they have those random questions in the poker live stream now and then. Look at this little bitty pot. First small one we've this, seen in a long time. This is, yeah, uncharacteristic of the table tonight. No kidding. Levine, flop bottom pair. Check, check. We can't check it down, though, right? That's against the code of this game. Okay, Levine will do it. He gets a, He gets a straight on the river. You know, if there's anyone that would get paid off for 25 bucks with King High, it would be Levine. Yeah. And, yeah, just in case. <laughs> Bob's look at his face. <laughs> it's like he's always just confused. Like, what? 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 I like top pair. I don't think Bob thought that was through, actually. There's some of the old ones, too. What, go pound sand, kick rocks? Yes, yeah. Jerk off. Yeah. Hey, you're a jerk off. <laughs> yeah. That was big when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Those Thems were fighting words. Yeah, right there. Yeah. You're not going to be my four-square partner anymore. You maxed it, believe me. No sooner do we have uh, conversation about insults and uh, they've got them flying back and forth on the table there. There we go. Just like a girl. Here we go, three-handed to the flop. Sandlot style. Yes. King, five, four, a couple of spades. Mr. X. Mr. Oh, X. Fair. We have Buddha trying to put his bluffing shoes on with nine high. Both mm -hmm. players pick up a gut shot. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful what you uh, construe as a read. Check, check on the turn. Going to the river. <laughs> Didn't have to show, but he does show the king. Ace came on the river. Buddha lost interest in that hand halfway through the turn. Uh, so, question from Brian says, what happens if a card accidentally gets flipped over on a deal from the dealer? That just becomes the burn card. It, it's an exposed burn card, and they'll get what the original burn card was. Brian, you'll make sure every single person sees the card exposed, so there's no advantage to anyone, and basically keep the hand moving along.
Buddha now. A couple of folds, we had a ten dollar straddle. And now Buddha picking up King Queen makes it eighty to go. We got a call from Mr. X. Jam and Jay gets out of the way. Looks like we're going to have heads up action going to the flop here. Looks like a Christmas tree. The pot. Then we got a five deuce seven board. A couple of diamonds. and Check, check. Yeah. Mr. X flopping top pair. Looks like a uh, three of hearts on the turn. No problem, Brian. Thanks for tuning in tonight, by the way. Mike C. <laughs> Cracking me up, buddy. He said, the message board, guys, has been great tonight. Me and Vic have been checking it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Quite often. Absolutely. Pretty much we have it right in front of us. I know it's not a full moon, but this is the full moon kind of game we've had here tonight. Mm -hmm. And almost a full moon kind of chat board as well. I would agree with that. Buddha with the ladies now getting a rush of cards. We had a three bet from Ammo with Ace Jack up to 30. And the price of poker is going up again. He's going to make it 180. Colonel, 10 8 suited, has been treating him well. Does he go against it? Ooh, he does. Get in here. Wasn't sure because he's got. I mean, the Colonel has a large stack in front of him. I just thought maybe that. That had 10 8 has been hitting tonight. Yes. Sometimes you just see hands that keep producing. I mean, maybe for 80, he, he might have called, knowing the Colonel. Yeah. But not 180. I thought maybe it would have went up because he's got a mound <laughs> of chips, but yeah, I get it. It wasn't three ways. You have a three bet and a four bet. But some might look at it as that's why they like 10-8. Oh, and ammo, ammo lets that go. Good fold by Ammo. Yeah. That just shows you, you know, Buddha's table image, though, too. I think Ammo plays that hand with, out of those eight players, six or five out of them. He'll, he'll play ace-jack. I think Buddha and Colonel, he'll let it go. Maybe MGM Bob. Shimmy folds queen Very deuce good. over the Buddha. And, you know, we talked about it earlier. Buddha plays the long game, and here he is grinding up to 1,500. I believe he's 1,000 ahead, Vic. He hasn't reloaded. Just consistently in the green. Yeah. Well, we got a hand to brew in here. Five way. Yeah, 163 in the middle. Look at that range. And we got a deuce 10 9 board, Vic. It is rainbow. And looking at these hands, Vic, squadoosh, bottom pair with the four kicker is that best right that now? That is the best right now. It's not the dirty diaper, but it's awfully close. Ten on the turn and now a jack on the river. Yeah, the jack is on the on the river right now. So a bet of fifty from ammo. 
I'm sorry, I didn't know it was on the yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. $2. Hitting two pair. <laughs> You'll call $2. Folds around. <laughs> Put me on Queen High, guys. Yeah. You'll figure it out. This would be a hero call from Corey. He lets it go. The tale of two halves here for Ammo. The first half of the night versus the second half of the night. And he is running really well here. We're down to about 45 minutes, 40 minutes of uh, tonight's five-hour live stream our Thursday and I, I I have to chuckle saying 1-3 because it just hasn't played like that at all Saturday night will also be a 1-3 uh, game $500 buy in regular Joe poker show that's a four-hour live stream be sure to join us I'll be in the booth here with Nick Tuesday night special guest here in the booth for our 5-5-10 no limit hold'em cash game Concrete Dave going to be in here with Dominic. Yeah, fun time. Oh, yeah, Mike, I read on the chat board. Yeah, it was, it was good talking poker with you. Hope to see you, too. When is the next time you're going to be coming in the reserve? Is it going to be before the quarter million guarantee? Are you going to pop your face in a little bit? Always a pleasure, sir. Ammo coming along with Queen Jack. Now Shimmy with Queen Ten. He's going to see a flop. A lot of, a lot of hands sharing here. Two plays with Queen Ten. One with Queen Jack. King Seven looking nice. And we have a eight deuce ace board rainbow flop. King High still in the lead for MGM. I'm like, yeah, whatever, that sucks. I've, but I've screamed myself for us many times. But that's how I know I'm not like the gambler. Like, I'm really not. Like, I don't care. I'm not going to chase a crap ball. You know, poker, it's just going to be a good ride. But yeah, I, I don't mind the crap ball. Crap to me is fun. It's definitely the funnest game. Oh, you got like far. shit, huh? The best thing about crap yeah, is you, you get your bets down. And as long as you don't send it out, they just keep not anymore. Rolling, rolling. You don't have to make any more bets. And it looks like MGM's going to take it down. Every other game, you got to go bet. Yeah, Mike, and we do have a good 10K guarantee prize pool tournament if you're looking for a juicy one on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Uh, before that. Those ones are pretty nice. We, we go over that 10K mark. That'll be this Saturday also. And then don't forget on uh, Saturday, April 13th, so just a couple of weeks out, World Series of Poker Main Event Satellite. It's a $140 buy-in, 30000 starting stack. That starts at noon on Saturday, April 13th. And we will be having a main event package for every 12000 in the prize pool. That's awesome. Yeah, we expect that to be a big event. A big event. $140 buy-in. Miller Time won that last year, right? Didn't Miller Time take that? Uh, I don't remember. I believe so. <clears throat> Levine with a 3-6 Mafia. Bumping it up to 35 here. Before your time, I do remember uh, Charlie won a uh, World Series of Poker event that we put together. Won a uh, entry for that. Both he and his wife went. Did they cash? Oh, look at that. The 3-6 Mafia gets there. And also X, man. Mr. X flops two pair with Queen-10. We got the two most action players at the table, both hitting a flop, and yeah, we had a raise and now re-raise. Shimmy, the queen three, aka the Dorothy, gets out of the way. Now it's just heads up. Levine, what's he gonna do here? Just going to smooth call this. This could get messy. Oh. Oh, my goodness. What a card. Four of a kind on the turn. Full house for 
And I, I don't see how these guys don't get it all in. And I want a mine to raise there just in case a scare if a scare card comes. Okay, that was a great card for Levine. What is going on? What I'm happened tracking? here? Oh my goodness. Was Levine waiting for him to bet back into him again? Ooh, the whoopsie of the night possibly. Yeah, definitely a whoopsie. A whoopsie daisy. And that question you had earlier about the, uh, I'm, I'm going to make another um, distant tie-in here about the uh, card being flipped up by the dealer. I have to say, you know, as a dealer, and that happens to me, and I'm really not on the high end of the totem pole here when it comes to dealer talent, ability, skill level, but um, I'm very hard on myself uh, when that happens. And I'm very hard on myself in, in anything I do. Um, nobody's harder on me, I think, than I am. And I have to go back to our discussion about being competitive. That was one of the paths that I took in being more competitive as a poker player was to come to the realization that there was really no one to blame in this game except for myself. I, I got away from, you know, blaming a bad, a bad beat or something like that I always now go back and evaluate my play and what could I have been doing differently? Mm -hmm. How did I get the situation where I was risking all, everything I had uh, lightly? And um, that's how I funneled my uh, competitiveness. I have to. Like in Rookie of the Year. Is that what the it says? Energy. The energy. The energy, yeah. And we had a raise from MGM Bob up to 65 with Big Slick. And some shoppers. Some people are buying in. Just trying to give the whole table a temperature, heating it up. Colonel now out of the way. Three players to the flop here. 218 in the middle. And we got a deuce, jack, queen board. Ace King still in lead for MGM. But now the royal draw for MGM. Oh, wow. A little shock there. Yes. A couple of hands in a row here to... Uh, yeah, like roll reversal. Shocked yeah. at Levine checking the quads. <coughs> and then MGM, the royal draw. But I would, I would like to hear from the chat board. Um, and the question is real simple. In the... Uh, being able to uh, rate yourself as a competitor, whether that be poker or anything else in your job, in your hobby, and where do you rate yourself in terms of competitiveness, and um, whether that's had an impact in your your level of play, or albeit your enjoyment level of playing poker. How competitive are you? And one of the person that one person that comes to mind when I think of competitive poker players here at the reserve is Ray Brint. Um, I, I have known him a long time and have always known that he's had that competitive edge to him. But I'm just curious. We got a raise up to 30 from Levine with Queen Three of Hearts. A couple of calls going around the table. No huge hands here. Jam and Jay with the best one going in. Pocket yeah. sevens. 130 in the middle, Vic. And we have a six queen ace board. Queen three from Levine. The initial razor flops the best of it. He's going to go right to that hand when it's over. He's going to find that one. No, I never have I ever looked at my phone. It's probably at the end tomorrow when you're on the way home. Yeah, it is. I should have been out of there. 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 I should have been
out a while ago, I guess, right? I was in a so. daze when I walked out of there. And Jam and Jay with a little bluff there. And he shows and gets rid of his yellow no knit chip. And I think we down to two, or is that now? And winners. And one. Is Shimmy the last person standing in this round? Or does uh, MGM Bob still have his yellow no knit chip in front of him? I think there's one. Oh, no, wait. He's getting him out. Nope. Yeah, Tim Carter, what would you consider yourself on a range of 1 to 10 in terms of being competitive? Do you have a competitive nature? And you may be more competitive in some things than you are in others. And I guess I'll just keep it with regards to poker. But do you have that competitive edge? Is it something that uh, drives you when you play this game? Scott S. The have house? you gone past the point of being a social player and you sit down and you think, I'm going to win this? And you visualize it and you make the moves to do that. All right, we got Jam and Jay bumping up to 65. Folds around the table. Levine's coming along with deuces. Mr. X, Jack 10 suited. 10 o'clock. It looks like we're going to have three players going to the flop here. And we got a 6 10 10 board. Mr. X with three of a kind. Seven on the turn. That gives him the check mark. As long as he doesn't fold, he will shift this. 509 in the middle. He's going to let uh, Jam and Jay bet, and he does. And he's going to call here. Oh, and what a great card here for the X-Man. Well, maybe not so because it's a club, but still. Bet of 400, Jam and Jay with uh, 630 left. He's got to be asking himself, do I make this call or just push all in? Yeah, it's a tough spot here. Yeah, it's a tough spot. And he makes the call, saves his last couple of hundred, and a big pot here. <laughs> and yeah, the roller coaster. Have we seen a bigger roller coaster in a while? It's been. I don't know. Mr. X and. Oh, why can I? Oh. Help me out. Bob's buddy who rides with the Yeah, uh, I have in uh, Sacco. 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 Sacco and Mr. X, the yeah. two roller coasters on the slide stream in the last month. Yeah. We saw Sacco go from like 200 up to 2,000, then back down to 300, then yep. back up to like 4,000. Right. But yeah, those guys have a lot in common. There's some great feedback here, and I really appreciate it. I'm sincerely interested in uh, this part of the game and in life as well. We got just under a half an hour left, and 
Man, I'm just feeling a big splash coming. A stack for a stack. Vic, it just, it's heating up that way. Oh, thought maybe Buddha would take the opportunity there to uh, bet his position. But Levine will do that. Yeah, bump it up. Bump it up to 60 now. That 10 deuce goes in the muck quick. Heads and heads up action. 141 in the middle. Ace with a 9 for the X-Man, who seems to be back on that roll that he was on earlier. Thank you. Here comes the flop. And we got a 6-10 jack board rainbow. And Levine out flopping him. And just a casual raise as he's stacking his chips. But they's high. Snap call from Levine. 441 in the middle. Now going to the turn. And that three is a good card for Levine. Blank. Check. 100 now. The quick call. And another three. I think if Levine called all this way, he's not going anywhere with that card. I don't know why you'd call both streets. Runner, runner threes. Nice call by Levine. Yeah, very nice hand by Levine. That's actually one of the nicest calls of the night, too. Yeah. Vic, not getting bluffed off, calling 300 on the river. That's some good poker right there, folks. That's power hour poker right there. Oh, baby. Power hour poker. Yeah, they came to play, folks. And I, and I hope you guys, too, i not just saying this because I'm calling it, but... We have seen so much action, and there hasn't been a lot of, oh, aces versus jacks. Yes, right. Ace, king versus <laughs> tens. Know. This yeah. is generated action by these players yeah. tonight. They've put on such an entertaining game for us. With mid-range and low-range hands. Yes. Yeah. Every single range you can imagine, you've seen it on this flop. Yeah. This has been one of the best games to call since I've been here. Fun live stream tonight. Sit back down. <laughs> oh, you missed me losing 2K? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize. I'll, I'll be a little louder next time if it's 2K. <laughs> I gave it to you. I didn't even have that much. I, only had, I bought in for a grand. And well, I gave you a thousand, and yeah. I gave you like 300, and I gave everyone else some. And no, okay, that's fair. So I only gave you like 13, my bad. Yeah, no. Come on. <laughs> Up in numbers, not rookie numbers. Right. 40 now. At least I can say I didn't get a new shit. I have to pay that shit. We got Will, Will, aka Terry Dale, just found out was on the Tiger screen on TV. <laughs> Oh, Wilt Dale, we got a 310 deuce board. King on the turn. Queen high, still good for Mr. X. Stuck in a little bluff, showed it. <laughs> Never too late for a little bluff. Legitimately. <laughs> 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 
They're getting their VPIP updates. Oh, that's what that was. <laughs> it was a little slow on that uptake. Could be the cold. And full disclosure, with the cold, I, I have been uh, staying away from the brown water. I'm trying to get myself uh, strong and healthy again. This thing really kicked my butt, and I hope nobody out there gets it. I was hoping the best for my wife, but unfortunately she's got it too, and it has knocked her down. I'd say she's watching right now, but I doubt it. She's probably uh, right to bed early. And here we go, four-handed. We got an ace-nine ace board. Three of a kind for Jammin' Jay. He's jamming. He's jamming, but sure is a tough board to try to get paid. Yeah. <coughs> and, and here's the uh, downside of making a bet here. Going to get everybody to fold because of his uh, table image. I mean, he's going to have trouble getting everybody, anybody to call. And I say that, and now we've got ammo. And he looks like he's reaching for raising chips. 145. So Jammin makes it 55, and music to his ears. There's a rage, raise of 90 from ammo. Just a smooth call here. Here we go. Somehow four tens in the middle right now. Oh, there's outs. The gut shot. And there's a check from Jam and Jay. And a check. Oh, oh, my goodness. Nemesis with runner, runner. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what, with that. Oh, man, it's close. Wow. I, Jam and Jay could just shove and get paid off probably right now. Or ammo. Yeah. yeah. Ammo, I'm sorry. Yeah, you meant to say ammo. I know, right? And they have another one, too. And basically an all-in here for uh, Jam and Jay to call I, after I mean, this bet. It was such an ugly turn, though. I mean, you almost wonder if you're going to... I don't think he's putting him on King-10. He's almost wondering if he's going against a boat now with that run out. I mean, any decent ace got there. You can get away from this. you got to ask yourself, what was he doing in the hand the whole time? Right. So, I mean, I, no one's putting you on King Jack right here, but you can get away from this. You're probably thinking possibly a, a full house. Oh, boy. And there is a call. Oh, man. Ammo. Having one heck of a night here. His second time here joining us on the live stream. Yeah, he's up to almost 5K. He shared with me uh, before the game got started tonight that um, he really plays just about seven days a week all over the uh, Detroit area. He's got certain nights that are for certain games, and he would like to uh, be a regular here on our Tuesday night game. So I'm pretty sure he's signed up for our next Tuesday night 5-5-10 No Limit Hold'em cash game. Well 
I'm saying F when you play, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You didn't top up the rebuttal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. For 2000 Oh, yeah, I was going to say. I thought he was. He sucked for the first couple hours. The worst. Yeah, seriously. I'm going to do shit. <coughs> I thought it was first day playing poker for a little while. Yeah, 300. Cool. Cool. All right, cool. so give me 300. CMOS. I'm going to look that up. Uh, M MHR, I, I got to say, I you know me, I was very giving the nemesis its flowers reluctantly, but I was calling it down the middle on Tuesday. That was the first hand tonight that we saw the nemesis do good tonight. So I'm not going to say it's been strong tonight, actually. It got Buddha in trouble earlier against Shimmy. When Shimmy had King Queen, there's a couple other hands. That the nemesis cost some players money, so that was it. Took a runner, runner, to get a winner out of it. But I, I will, I will not defend it tonight. But Tuesday, yes. And I did get a uh, just got a heads up from uh, Jim Kandersky, one of the owners here. He and uh, Marissa of the Reserve in Toledo, Ohio, aka the, the Wizard. Wizard. Yep. Yes. You owe me a Coke, Jinx. And uh, the 5 5 10 game now has booked up all the way into May. So if you want to get on, call now. Call now. And I uh, set something up. Hot ticket. You can maybe call up and get on the reserve list in case someone has a family emergency or something, you know? We got a five deuce queen board, couple of diamonds. Two players hitting bottom pair, and that is it. Is that why she says it? Because she doesn't make you mad? Now X Man's going to hit uh, nine here. You got gut shots. Not quite cut shot. Sorry about that. But there's a bet from the X Man. A bet of 60. <coughs> and we're still three handed going to the river. Now we've got almost $500 in this pot. I was just going to say the king is a scare card, but then. Uh, how often does the X-Man get scared? Not not too often. Ice in the veins. would be chopping this. <laughs> he doesn't look like he really wants to fold. Oh, he just dad faced him. He did, didn't he? Gave him the dad face. Yeah, I know that look. I've tried for years to get that look. To pull pull things off, but oh, and now he's putting it out now. Hey, he's doing. He did the dad face, and he's like putting out the punishment almost right in front. Uh huh. He's almost, he's done everything except the hokey pokey. He's put his right hand in, he's put his left hand in, put his left hand shoulder, his left shoulder in. Oh, no. Adjustment of the beard. Yep. Oh, fold. Very good play by this young man. Yeah, Levine. 
So I did just look up uh, sea moss, and there's natural Irish sea moss. That's uh, that's right up my alley. This is for better health. Oh, is it natural? I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna look that up. Colonel gets the hooks, pocket jacks. Colonel having a good night tonight. MG and Bob right behind him with King Nine suited, and he hasn't been able to play a lot of hands tonight. He might be thirsty. Hey, makes the fold. He's behind. Corey now with threes. Yeah, that's the only reason I didn't. Because Shimmy has all the queens. Who are they going to put up? Well, the worst feeling is the call, and then he re-raises it. See, Vic, I, I, I like Corey's call here. Yeah. I would rather call with a small pair to Buddha or a Colonel with threes. Yes. Thinking I am going to get paid off, and they, the likelihood of them having a big pair right now. Yeah, very good a point. Loose player. Those are, if I see a tight player at the table, I want to call with my small pairs. And right now we have a five seven three. I'm sorry, a five, five seven, seven six, six board. I've done that three times tonight, calling like the pocket pairs as part of the flop. I don't know what's going on. But anyway. Five seven six. Corey with the gut shot. Along with his threes. One fifty is the price of admission. I make myself nervous. Colonel shows the jacks, the goods. I'm playing the 2 5 and MGM the other day. I'm in the 2 5 10 straddle, 6 limbers. I'm like, what do you do with 6 limbers? And another shout out to Richard. We just saw him in the window over there, our most excellent security guard. Big weekend for him as his daughter, Nisi, brings to him a uh, new son-in-law. They're getting married. She's marrying Jaden on Saturday. Congratulations. Right after Jack's, now Colonel picks up Ace Jack. Early to act here. Ten dollars to call, and he's gonna. You had no bluffs there. He's gonna just call. And there's just a call with another yeah. ace here, Jam and Jay. Casual ten dollars. That's the most friendly we've seen. Is this the most front man? This is the Most smallest friendly. pot so yeah. far. Colonel did not get his wish. Somebody raising preflop. So now four-handed. It is disguised. Yeah. Queen, five, four, a couple of diamonds. Jam and Jay getting the best of it. Yeah. Oh, no, Corey's got a queen, excuse me. But they check it around to a free card. And now the six of diamonds comes into play. Shimmy, the only player with a flush draw currently. And Corey's going to take that down with a $30 bet. Thanks, Concrete Dave. Yeah, Thursdays have been heating up. It's been a fun live stream. Probably not on a queen 
they, yeah, I didn't just bring it up out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't believe the action we saw the night, Vic. We got about one or two more hands left, and uh, yeah, this night goes in the books as one of the best live streams on a Thursday night we've had. Just watching the game, seeing the ranges of hands that are getting in there with the amount of money at stake, it really shows you this is a good learning tool for if you want to tweak your style watching some of these players. Yeah, the uh, the needle on the sat satisfaction meter was just buried here tonight. Jam and Jay now, sevens. You know, and Mr. X, who has been getting praised and some guff at times of his play, but the yeah. bottom line is he has a huge chip stack in front of him now. I believe he's in the green. He's ahead. If not, he, he won it all back. He's been playing some good poker tonight. He's been ri way more risks probably than the average bear. But at the same time, I've been enjoying calling his action. And some of his plays, even though, though they're unorthodox, have made sense to me. The Here's a raise box. now from Ammo. Another Speaking point. of strong play. Yeah. He's been mixing up well. Raises it up to 150. Buddha. No, thank you. Bob thought about it with that ace. Oh, ace seven, which means there goes one of uh, Jay's sevens. Yeah, this is either shove or fold for Jam and Jay. <coughs> it's only 291 behind. He does make the call. Just a smooth call. Now this opens up the door, though, with the sevens where, you know, another player could come in. Right now we can see the sixes aren't much of a threat, but a lot of times you want to isolate if you're going to play it. Well, 105 to call. He's almost getting 4-1 to one on his money. He doesn't know it. We know it. Corey's got 1,300 in front of him. I, I think he... Was hungry to want to see if he could win a big hand. Flop is set. Three players now, 473 in the middle. And we have a four king ace board. Check. Check. Back over to Jam and Jay. Will he be jamming? He checks it. No Bob Marley. Free card. <coughs> Third club comes out there. It does give a flush draw for Jam and Jay and Corey. Yep, there it is. There it is. There's the all-in. He is in the lead with his sevens, and he's got a flush draw here. I think it's only 36 more. And he folds. And ammo folds. And he says, I can't win. That's a pretty good quick calculation on ammo's part. Where uh, three outs was all he had going to the river. So rather than make that call and put, what is it called? Bad money after, good money after bad? Yeah. Just and doesn't work. And as I talk about those sevens being played, Jam and Jay got way more value out of it playing it that way. Yes, so he did. Good job, Jam and Jay. He actually did. Yeah, so yeah. that was the, the final hand of the night. And thanks, guys, for tuning in. This was, like I said, Vic and I have echoed it throughout the whole night. What a great Thursday live stream that we had.
I, I can't. When I walked in here, I did not expect to see what we saw. I knew it was going to be a good live stream seeing the lineup. But yeah, it went way and above expectation. It really did. It really did. And uh, yep. Vic, let the people know too. Uh, we got a huge tournament coming up on our three-year anniversary. Well, we've got a whole series coming up, and so if you go to the ReservePoker.com, uh, you will see that series. Um, but the big, the big news of that is the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar prize pool guarantee. Just like we ran uh, this previous tournament, there are going to be uh, six uh, day ones leading up to day two on April twenty uh, eighth, and. Um, Dom's prediction, really, I, I got a hold to that as well. We're probably going to yeah. be far in, in excess of the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar prize pool guarantee. Probably closer to three, three twenty five, maybe even three hundred and fifty thousand. And what a value! Two hundred and sixty dollar buy in. We had a satellite for that tonight. Six players moved on to get a, uh, a voucher for that from tonight's tournament, and there's going to be more of those satellites coming in. Be sure to take uh, advantage of that. And we'll give the example, Jeff Wilkie, who was in here tonight. I'm not sure if he wound up getting a voucher tonight. But Jeff Wilkie entered in two of the satellites for our last tournament and uh, for $30 each. So he invested $60, and he wound up double bagging, yep. which was $1,000, and then he went uh, fairly far into day two. So please go to the reservepoker.com, get your schedule out, figure out when you can get into those satellites. It's just a fantastic opportunity, and um, we, are so pr we are so proud to be having this uh, uh, series coming up for the three-year anniversary. But to your point, the single tournament that we've run by ourselves, this is probably going to be it in our history, the biggest one so far. Yep. The Millie, of course, was a joint venture. Um, but it, it's going to be big, and Special make sure time. make sure you've got that on your calendar. Yeah, eleven days of poker. We have our fifty our fifty k guarantee on day one. That'll be Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Day one flights. Day two on Sunday will be live stream right here, live at the reserve. That's why you hit the subscribe and the thumbs up. We'll have three single day events leading up to our quarter million guarantee. Same thing as we normally do Thursday, Friday, Saturday to uh, day one flights and then we'll be back live at the reserve on youtube for that day two and that quarter million guarantee prize pool so a lot of excitement a lot of uh feels coming up in just a short period of time it's going to happen a lot faster than we think and don't oh. forget one more thing every single thursday we have our satellites leading up to that you can get in as low as thirty dollars twenty dollar rebuys and that could turn into who knows 80 90 100 grand we won't know till we hit the guarantee and how far we go above it. But like I said, get that max value, folks. Yes. And thanks again for joining us. We greatly appreciate it. The next live stream is going to be Saturday night. For our live stream, please join us for that regular Joe Poker Show. And from uh, Dom and I and everybody here at the Reserve, please be safe. Take care, everybody.